Well, hello, hello, hello. Happy Friday, everybody. How are you guys doing? Good to see you. So good to see you. Another stream where my prompter's still not working. <laughs> Didn't have time. I, you know, I say that, but and probably because I was too busy playing Minecraft yesterday. I could have taken some time. How is everybody? Oh, Prim is coming in here going, what's, going, what's up, Prim? What's up? <laughs> Oh, and, yeah, and I got I went out and got a haircut yesterday. That's also true. Yesterday, I, I, got, I got a lot done yesterday. Got a haircut. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. We had the Hermitcraft meeting. And I did some stuff here on the server. Fun stuff. Josie Block, thank you so much for the five gift sub bomb. I'm going to sneeze, I think. There it is. I muted in time. Woo! <laughs> I need a button that mutes and hides the camera so you don't have to see the, the sneeze face. <laughs> anyway, whew, okay, that was bothering me since it, it was like the second I hit live, my, my nose was like, you need to sneeze. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, what are you asking about the Hermitcraft meeting? How long are Hermitcraft meetings? Yesterday's was about two hours. Yeah, about two hours long. Um, not all of them go that long. If I don't end up streaming on Thursday, that means... The meeting probably went too long. Woo, I think I got some allergies today or something. Hello, Hype Train. Thank you so much, guys, for kicking off the Hype Train. Thank you for Blue Cat for the 200 bits. Awesome podcast today. Thank you so much. Glad you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, if you didn't if you didn't see, if you're not subscribed to the Imp and Skiz podcast channel on YouTube, you should go do that. Today's podcast was very special. It's uh, it, Skiz gets to finally talk about Hermitcraft. <laughs> so... Uh, I actually recorded, well, we, we were recording, getting ready to record a podcast and during this, the, the, right before we were on camera, uh, I told, or I asked Skiz about joining Hermitcraft. So I got footage of, of his reaction and we held on to that for months now. And finally today we got to show you guys that and his reaction to getting invited and stuff. It was, it was really good. And then the episodes about... You know, just talking about what it's like to be on Hermitcraft and, and everything um, from Skiz's perspective. So it's really cool. You guys should check it out after the stream. Today's stream's probably going to be a little shorter than normal. Um, I usually go three hours. I got a, a thing to go to my kid's school, a little event at my kid's school got to go to. So it's going to be about two and a half hours today. A little shorter stream. Jagger, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Pearl's distracted and... Prime for a prank. You know it must be done. Oh, jeez. I don't I don't uh, prank on the fly very well. <laughs> Pranks usually have to be thought out. Um, Merida Rowe, thank you for the 200 bits. Impulse, love the podcast today. In case you were wondering, you asked Skiz in August. The click, clip was before podcast number 54, The Thief of Joy. So you've known for five months. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we should have looked. Yeah, in the clip, it, it, I said, "What do we? What's the podcast topic?" And he says, "The Thief of Joy." That was really five months ago. Oh my goodness, time flies. So yeah, he's known for five months. It's because he's had to lie to you guys for five months. Actually, he never lied. He goes meh or whatever he does. <laughs> oh, thank you guys so much. You guys want to see what I've been up to? Uh, first of all, the last thing you saw probably was the time lapse and the building. Of this first uh, cyberpunk, I, I say that loosely right now because it's not there yet. Um, but I asked the question about the texturing in the windows, and it was overwhelmingly yes. B Dubs is brilliant, of course, and uh, that's the way to go. So I finished. I did the rest. Well, on one side. So we're gonna work on this a little bit because I need to do the other three sides. So today we're gonna work on that a little bit, if you don't mind. Uh, I want to play around with some ideas for the cyberpunk vibe, but we need to get a few things in order to be able to do anything cyberpunkish in these three stalls. We need glow ink, stuff like that. Um, I thought I had a nice little way to get glow ink. The last time I checked, there was none. I should have grabbed them while I could. But we've got, let's go inside. I'll show you from the inside. Let's just open this up. Uh, I got to take down this. I did plain windows here. So we got to take that down and do the texturing. And then so we have three sides left to do. I did get all the glowstone finally. Yesterday I went to the nether during the Hermitcraft meeting. <laughs> and uh, got all the glowstone I needed. So that got done. That makes me feel good. Also, made a couple little farms. 
so that we could we could finish this up. Oh, they're this way. They're this way. Uh, Gem left me something. I'm not gonna look at that until my episode. <laughs> I want to be. I want to be surprised. The latte lord in the house with 500 bits. Do you like lattes? Lattes are great, of course. Yeah. Um. So I've decided just to tuck some little personal use mini farms down below. We worked on the cactus farm last stream, right? You guys were here for that. Some of you. And it's doing okay. This intrigues me. <laughs> this intrigues me. Slime ball. So, slime chunk? Somewhere? Did I build in a slime chunk? Um, I don't know. I haven't seen a slime spawn. But there's, yeah, yeah there's a slime ball in there. So, it's an imitation cactus. Uh, also, ooh, 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 you heard that? Maybe? Shears might have gone off. I did finally install a proper resource pack. This I made my own vanilla tweaks resource pack. And I did some things like, like lowering the volume of dispensers and water and portals and fire and stuff like that. Uh, also, I wanted my dark menu back, my dark GUI. I think it looks so much better. And then like points, pointers on hoppers and stuff. Let's see. Yeah, you see how this got the arrow? I needed to get all that back. Anyway, I did all that. This is the slowest slime farm. This slime farm might actually be worse than Mumbo's slime farm last season. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my god, a bunch of uh, fishing. Fishing. Look at my look at my fishing rod though. I made this fishing rod today. Super excited about it. Still better than Mumbo's. One slime ball. One. Man, I'd be interested to see if if oh, I really hope that what is it? F3 nope. F3G. Nope. Wait. Yes. Um I really hope this right here isn't the slime chunk. Because I'll end up having to move stuff if I want to use it. Any other chunk would be fine, but not this one, please. And I don't think this will say. Slime chunk unknown. So yeah, I have to tell the better F3 what our seed is, and I don't know how to do that. I'm afraid if I try, I'm going to spam the server with stuff. Anyway. <laughs> Crazy, right? Um, I did not see Mumbo's slime farm. I know he's using the, the new swamp technology stuff, though, right? Um, anyway, so yeah, this is the Ian XO4 wool farm, and it's absolutely amazing. Like, that doesn't look like a lot, but that's because I've already... I got nervous last night, and I took a bunch out. So we have, like, essentially a double chest of wool already. And it's just... It's just six sheep. Six yellow... Six white, and it it's amazing. It's such an easy little farm. ENX04 is a genius. Um, and then it's using torch burnout stuff, so it's really cool. So not, not a big clock. Also did this little tiny bamboo farm. I wanted to see how well it worked, and I kind of like it. I kind of think it's worth expanding at this point. SF3H to show tooltips, but it didn't work. We're seeing enchantments. Uh, F3H, F3H. Advanced tool tip shown. You should, yeah, it's there. The only thing it adds is like durability and stuff, right? And the, the MBT tag. I don't think durability is there before that. Let's see. F3H. Right. So durability and then the MBT data is what you get with the F3H. I do like keeping mine on, even though sometimes it will spoil some things. Like if we have items that are retextured or whatever, it'll be like, this is actually a golden carrot. But that was supposed to be lore. You ruined it. <laughs> Mycroft, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Looking forward to seeing the cyberpunk build get detailed. Thank you so much. It's, uh, we're going to chip away at it slowly but surely. Latte Lord, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Holy smokes. How are you? Thank you. Sophia Dragon, thanks for the 100 bits. I think Prim, my doggy, regrets her decision of coming to work with me today because she didn't have her breakfast yet. 
And so now she's standing here staring at me. Like, um, can I go have my breakfast and come back is, I think, what she's asking. So real quick, I'm going to just go let her out so she can go eat her breakfast. And then I might have to check again to see. Because once she's done with her breakfast, she'll sit outside the door waiting in the cold. And it's kind of cold today. So I will be right back. One second. We really should have just put a doggy door in this studio. <laughs> we should have put a doggy door so she could come and go as she pleased. <laughs> oh, well. All right, let me dump some of my junk. What kind of dog? It's a, it's a Border Collie. She's a Border Collie. She's about seven years old or so now. Seven or eight. I can't never remember. Anyway, let's dump our junk. This is my, my new junk chest. Actually, some of these are pretty good. Power three flame. What's mine? Ooh, we could combine them. I don't mind flame on my bow, actually. Uh, what's it going to take? What's it going to take? Probably more levels than I have. 13. Oh, phew, right there. Okay. Actually, let's hold on to it. Let's get the job done. That won't take too long. I didn't even look at the rest of these. Oh, power four. I mean, that's what we're going to get anyway with these. That's a better start, though, for a bow. Power four infinity. Oh. <gasps> Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. We need mending. <laughs> Ask it, you shall receive. Okay, hold on. Uh, new strat, new strat. We got this plus this. That's that's a that's a nice bow. That's a nice bow. I don't mind punch. Oh, not mending. I want infinity, you're right. No, you're right. What was I thinking? Because it was going to break already. That's why I was worried about it. Uh, oh, you're absolutely right. I have an infinity, an infi especially since we have the arrows. Okay, hold on. Uh, get, get rid of that. What about this? What does this buy us? Power. I mean, we upgraded to power four with this. It's not really that much better. No, that doesn't do anything for us. I just need to fix this bow. And then, and then I'm happy with it, right? That'd probably be good enough. Flame. I could add flame. That would make it a... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the, that's the ticket. Okay. If we go this route, it's six. If we go this route, it's 18. <laughs> what a difference. Um, I don't know. Just so if it falls in a pile, I know this one's mine. Okay. There we go. We'll probably end up having to make multiple bows this season, but that's okay. Look at this fishing rod. Ooh. Random hair floating in front of me. <laughs> oh. Look at that fishing rod. That's not a bad fishing rod. Now when now when I get together with a fishing crew, I, I can hold my own. T3 chickadee in the house. <laughs> so is there a new inside joke? Tech Kitty, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Hey, Impulse just wanted to say great first episode. I'm happy for you and Skiz to be on the season together. Also, thanks for helping me get out of bed each morning when I know you're going to be live. It's what I look forward to most now since I... Since I first came here, since MCC 27. Wow. Ooh, that was a good MCC too. Nice. Thank you so much. You're amazing. Sophia Dragon, thank you so much for the 100 bits. And Cookies the Great with the 1,000 bits. About to leave for you. I hope you and everyone watching have a great stream. All right, Cookies, have a good day. Thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. We will have a good day. Uh, Okay. I'm going to put this in here. Oh, I had a amending one we don't need that anymore this is our good one. Oh, don't look in that shoot there was an exclusive preview in there you guys didn't see it though did you i was too fast i was too fast this is not my horse we need to go find my horse look this is not tyler the stallion i don't know what happened i don't know where my horse went <laughs> See what good yeah don't don't look at that don't don't go back and, and try to look at that <laughs> gotta leave for work okay cookies are great yeah i figured you had to go somewhere <laughs> thank you so much wait what is this okay whose horse is this not mine okay 
We're on a mission to find my horse. Sorry, I know it's like, hey, okay. No! Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Lucky we didn't panic. <laughs> I was over here fishing earlier. There's green. I got off my horse. And now he gone. What's this? I got my, my mob animations fixed, by the way. Horse! Tyler! Tyler, where are you? Oh, no. I didn't travel the crop, did I? Tyler! You can run, but you can't hide. Maybe... Did, is Cleo on? Yeah. <laughs> Just running through his wheat field. Tyler. Tyler. Where did you go? Mine's all black with armor. Hey, we got a raid coming in. Welcome, raiders. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for coming in. Hope you had a good stream, Pearl. Thanks for the raid. I saw Pearl was doing some armor stand magic. Were you guys doing some armor stand magic? Super fun. I know it's like it's tedious, right? You gotta you gotta have some patience with it, but once you get it, it's super fun. I'm gonna be doing some armor stand stuff, I'm sure, this season to make the cyberpunk vibe. Okay. This definitely isn't isn't my horse, right? My horse was that's not what my horse looks like. <laughs> Thank you. I did end up getting a, a haircut yesterday. Did he climb the mountain? Uh okay. He's gotta be around here somewhere, right? I got off the horse. <laughs> We're gonna play Phasma today. <laughs> oh, I would love to later. <laughs> Find my horse, Green. I need it back. That's a horsey hole. There's no horse in a horsey hole. The horse won't go to the bottom of the ocean or anything crazy, right? He wouldn't have gone in, in these these bits. He wouldn't have climbed the mountain, I wouldn't think. <gasps> Guys, I think we lost Tyler. Ow. I don't think we should go down there. No! Did Tyler go in? Hold on. Are you Tyler? No, no saddle. Wow, loud. Okay, he's not in there. Side of the hill. Let's take a look. Tyler will have a saddle. This is not how I envision the stream going today. Losing our horse straight away. I should have put him in the little horsey hole. Mistakes were made. I didn't think he was going to go that far. <laughs> Brandon Miller, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Dealing with Minecraft overcharging you for Minecraft Realms. Oh, man. And this is great. Keeping my blood pressure down. Love the podcast. Thanks for being a force of fun and hilarity. Uh, you know, I uh, I did a thing where I, I set up a, a Realms with my, with my kids while they were on break. And then just forgot to cancel it after we were done playing in the world and they went back to school. So... Yeah, they got they got Microsoft got a little bit extra of my money. That's how they get you. They get you all these subscription services. Shoot. Well, 
This isn't Tyler, right? No. That's because I don't know where this. I actually don't know where this horse came from. Yeah, he's definitely not Tyler. Tyler only had 10, 10 hearts of health. Shoot. Okay, well, hopefully he, he shows up. We're not going to spend the whole stream looking for him. <laughs> uh, did we have a can you dig it come through? It, no, it didn't come through. But I did I did see it. I did see the, the uh, can you dig it come through. But it doesn't show the proper name. So thank you. You know who you are. Thank you for the $25. Can you dig it? Cal, thank you so much for 1,000 bits. Mad Maddie, thanks so much for the 100 bits. Petition to move the sub animation to a different corner, pretty please. Um, yeah, this uh, sub animation that just came up in the bottom left, we can do that. Because, oh, because it blocks the game chat. Even though it's only there for a little bit. Um, what is it? It's in its own scene, isn't it? Alerts. And that one is the subs. Oh, go. I can't. Oh, you can't move stuff in this? That's wrong. Oh, that's the wrong thing. That's why. Hold on. Sub. This guy. Talking about that guy, right? Shall we just put it up there? Is that better? Okay. Cool. All right, we're good. Better? It's probably going to cover up something else, but oh well. I don't want to muck with it too much. Okay. Let's start to work on these windows, yeah? Mm -mm. Is my... No, still swings so slow. All the animation stuff I got figured out. Flufflepuff, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Says tonight's your opening night for Fiddler on the Roof, and you're the Fiddler. Sadly, you're very sick and hoping to get better. Love your streams. Thanks for helping me through my sickness. Oh, I hope I hope you're able to recover and uh, and perform. That's amazing. Okay, let's grab this. You missed the beard on my skin. Oh man, I miss I miss having a color. I miss having a skin. <laughs> I miss I miss having a skin. <laughs> what if? What if we don't wait until Demise is over to switch skins? What if we don't wait? What if we just do it next episode? How many people are left? Well, XB for one. I think False and B-dubs. Maybe missing uh, one or two more. I think next episode I'm just going to do it. I think I'm just going to switch. I'm ready. I'm ready to show you guys the skin. Plus, my chin is cold. The Cinnamon Gremlin, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Turn 22 on Wednesday. Absolutely loving your VODs uh, while studying for your degree. Well, happy birthday to you. Uh, birthday on Wednesday. Belated birthday, anyway. <laughs> Hope you had a good one. <laughs> uh, my wife texted me and said Prim, Prim went inside and went back to bed. <laughs> That's why she wanted to leave. <laughs> she went inside. The Actually, maybe she's maybe she's not comfortable. It's a little cold in here today. Um, it was cold. It was got got chilly. A little chilly overnight. I know nothing nothing from what you guys are probably used to, but uh, I didn't run a heater in here or anything. So it actually got a little warm or a little cold in here, which I love, because by the end of the stream it'll be hot. All the equipment running. All right, that'll do us. Did that song start over? That was weird. All right, let's let's. We got to take down these new skin cyberpunk neon dwarf beard. You'll see. You'll see. Tayrim, thank you so much for the hundred bits. Just finished watching the podcast. Thank you for sharing that moment of Skiz's reaction. It was beautiful. You cried. Oh my goodness, that uh, was so good. It was so good. I didn't. He caught me off guard a little bit. His reaction to me asking him to join Hermitcraft was not what I expected. He caught me off guard. 
I was so nervous. I don't know. You could probably tell. I, was, I don't know why. I was just so nervous. Probably because I knew it was being recorded. And I knew this day would come. I think that, I think that got my nerves going. <laughs> mm. Being hot is uncomfortable. Being cold is painful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, super cold can, can hurt, right? I always just find it easier to bundle up with cold. With hot, you can only do so much before you start breaking laws. <laughs> you know what I mean? Lorderick101, thank you so much for the, what is it, 10? 10 gift up, Bob? Yeah, thank you. Sorry, the display for those has been out of whack for months. Skiz is good people, fact. Vouch. Vouch. Skiz's reaction on Infant Skiz uh, podcast today. Exactly. Yes. If you want to see, if you want to see Skiz getting invited to Hermitcraft and his reaction to the invite, uh, check out the Infant Skiz podcast today. Called we can finally talk about it. Uh, it'll be obvious from the thumbnail that it's it's about Skiz and Hermitcraft. And if you're only interested in seeing the reaction, then you can catch that in the first. It's like, I don't know, two, three minutes. The clip was actually longer, but I, I suppose we didn't want to put the whole clip in the uh, in the video today just because it, it, it would have been a little drawn out. But uh, there was a funny moment that he didn't he didn't put in. Skiz does the editing for those. Um, he asked <laughs> he asked me if he could tell his wife. <laughs> <laughs> is that not the cutest thing ever <laughs> I'm like okay this is a pretty big secret you can't tell anybody and he's like well, can I tell my wife at least <laughs> I was like yeah dude you can tell your wife <laughs> but tell her to keep it under wraps you know uh, she's a teacher I don't want her students finding out <laughs> uh, oh man I came in here hands full I can't collect all this that's Sag. I don't want to lose this concrete. Let me go drop some. <laughs> Mrs. Skiz telling her student, guys, guys, my husband got invited to Hermitcraft. <laughs> oh, man. They'd be right to Reddit, wouldn't they? They'd be right to Reddit. So Mrs. Skiz is my teacher, and she gave me a spoiler today. <laughs> that would be funny. Wyvern's Flight, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Uh, the sub animation text is still at the bottom. Oh. See, that's why I don't mess with stuff on stream. Because now i got to stop again and fix the text. Uh, I will when we when we feel like taking a, a little break from, from building. I won't do it right now. You guys can... <laughs> it's okay. It's just... They're just split up. It's fine. This is fine. Right? It's fine. Sorry. Um, okay. So we're doing the B-dubs thing. B-dubs is, uh, this is why I was so excited that B-dubs was willing to join me on this cyberpunk journey because he was the one that was, well, I, you know, I think in his mind, he was more like thinking that's going to be a lot of wool or that's going to be a lot of concrete. And he was trying to he was trying to save me a little bit from the concrete grind. Oh, this is kind of a big window, so we could... Oh, these windows are a little bit bigger. Okay, let's drag let's drag this out so we won't go so quick to the, the wool because that's a little bit brighter. Um, yeah, I think he was trying to save me from having to grind so much concrete, and that's when he came up with the idea to do this kind of textured pattern. And then it ended up just looking amazing because it's B dubs, right? So, Sheriff's vibing. Thank you for the 200 bits. NJ in the house, 100 bits. Thank you so much. To be fair, Skiz is your best friend, and being able to have him with you and your combined friends is special. You both were adorable, and I almost cried. It was so joyful. Amazing. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's it's we were we were like giddy recording that that podcast just because the first week had been underway, and so. It was like our first chance to actually kind of talk about it. It was great. 
Uh, now it's a lot of... Uh, yeah, we brought in some white, I guess. Let's do this. Let's bring in a lot of white here. See how it looks. Too much wool. Big old cross in the middle of wool. See, I... I'm not used to the five by fives. I'm used to just having to do do spread it over three layers. That's not great, is it? Um, we should bring that. That feels out of place. That whole bottom should be darker, and then this can carry up just a little bit more of the dark, maybe, or bring more white down early. Hold on, let's see. I don't like so much white at the top. I like just the sprinkled white for the very one. Oh, night. Night for a bit. Sure, sure, sure. This is a chance for us to see. It's just got this subtle little like glow to it. From that from the glow lights that are the the glowstone that's hidden for the most part. And it just lights up the windows at night. This is like the first time I've actually been able to see it. The textured windows turned out great. I all credit to B Dubs, of course. He did such an amazing job. Thank you guys so much for all the subs, resubs. You're amazing. Thank you. I decided to go against my dentist's wishes and not drink my coffee out of a straw. I'm trying to do this technique where I cover up because I got Invisaligns. If you weren't here on Wednesday, I got Invisaligns this week. And they told me not to drink coffee with them in. And they told me to drink it through a straw if I was going to drink coffee. But I'm good at, I, I, I altered the way I drink the coffee so it doesn't touch them. As long as you brush. Yeah. <laughs> Always follow, follow your dentist's advice. The other thing is, uh, I get new trays every two weeks. So they only, you know, if I stain these trays or whatever over the next week and a half, I'm just going to get a new one. I figured it's no big deal. Look at that, though. It looks good. It looks good, right? The window's glowing. Doesn't it look so good? Yeah, I, I tried drinking coffee through a straw last stream because that's what they said to do, and I hated doing that, so I'm over it already. Okay, so these corners are not are not going to stay. This yellow right here, this is eventually also going to be lights, but I need... I'm not there yet. I need uh, ochre. Okra? I, I never know how to say that. Uh, the frog lights. The yellow frog lights. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get spammed on the proper way to say that now because <laughs> I always blow it. Uh, I don't want to have to take these back down. Why is it a big box? Well, it's a building. <laughs> have you ever seen Have you ever seen cities? They have buildings. Buildings are basically big boxes. <laughs> That's why it's 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 a building. <laughs> There'll be more buildings. Ochre, thank you. Isn't okra like a vegetable of some sort? Maybe I'll just jump down here. Yeah, let's just fix it. I don't want to dig all the way down. I think I think where I went wrong with this was this. And that's not necessarily wrong, but what I should have done. Oh, what if we sprinkle just a white right here to break this up? That could look good. And then I feel like we got a little bit too much of, of this guy. What if we what if we dotted one more dark one up? Would that weird? Would that be weird? Kind of. It's kind of weird. Maybe maybe wool instead of that. Go the other direction. That's okay. That feel that feel better? Let's see what it looks like from down here. That feel okay? Okay. We can't nitpick too much, otherwise I'll never get these done. I just gotta roll. <laughs> Ochre. Ochre has been brought up twice to you today. Too much white at the top. Yeah, we went a little little wild with it, didn't we? I agree, I agree, I agree. As I say, oh, we can't get two over the top with this but we can break it up just a little bit what if we would it be weird no that looks good oh it looks a little checkered though doesn't it shoot 
I'm going to bring one more yellow up on this bit, and then it won't look so checkered. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, moving on. Don't look at it anymore, or else you're going to want to change more. That's that's what you do. You just got to walk away. Just got to walk away. Second, you're semi-happy. Otherwise, you'll never get it done. <laughs> uh, Move over. I like to kind of put the blocks in shade order. You know what I mean? Uh, you know what? Let's do that. And then I can break it up here. Carry that one. Go like that. And maybe a wool. Got to be a little more with carrying this up. Uh, I think that'll do. Too soon for white? One white, maybe. I think I might have gone a little too soon with the wool. Watch, perfect this time. Good enough. I'm okay with it. Thank you for the raid, Joe. We got a raid from Joe. Welcome, raiders. Joe, thank you so much for the raid. Yeah, that's good. That's good. It, it's it's got some character. It's got some character. Got a block floating in the window. No sleep. No. Somebody slept. Who was it? Oh, she just logged on. She didn't know. Okay, hermits. Next meeting. Next meeting, Hermits, we're going to talk about this because it's been a problem. It's been a problem. We have this thing for a reason. All you do is go like that. And then when somebody tries to sleep, it'll say, hey, Impulse has requested no sleep for tonight. And then we won't have that problem so much. Eh? I feel like the, I feel like. I know that I know the new guys haven't been taught that. <laughs> I know for a fact the new guys have not been taught that we have that. In fact, I don't even think Skiz has the mod. So we we'll probably need to take care of that. Yeah, it's nice. It's very helpful to relay that message. Because otherwise you tell people, please don't sleep, and then somebody logs on and they sleep. And it's not their fault. Jem had no knowledge, no idea that people didn't want uh, sleep because she just logged on. She didn't get the memo. NJ says, uh, coffee is acidic, so be careful with that. I have to drink mine through a straw because of my braces. Yeah, that's why they didn't want me drinking coffee with these in, because they're acidic, and I guess it would wear wear at them. But I'm doing my best not to let the coffee touch them. Their initial question was, like, how fast do you drink your coffee? And I was like, oh, I am a chronically slow coffee drinker. And they're like, oh, that means the acid's going to be sitting on your trays for much longer and that's bad but I couldn't do it guys the, the straw thing it was too much I guess you could get used to it but over time and I, I didn't give it time <laughs> let's go up one more Bop. Bop. I just want to carry that over like that did I go too 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 yeah. this is harder than it looks <laughs> Texturing is hard, B-dubs. You didn't teach me how to do it. <laughs> and we can start to sprinkle a little bit of white in now. Uh, let's do one, one more white. I know I think way too much on these. Nope. Yeah, it's fine, actually. We'll do two. Okay, crush it again. Could go, could go one more, one more white right in the middle there, I think. One more. Break this up. Yeah. Oh, oh no, it's symmetrical. It's symmetrical. No. <laughs> oh no. We got boop, boop, and then boop, boop. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. Um, we can fix, we can fix, we can fix, no problem. Uh, let me just break one of them. Hold on, what was it? I just need to break one of them up. Let me put, let me put right here. Let's 
kind of weird because it gets a little bit darker. But, oh, yeah, 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 that's better. Just that one little, that one block fixed it. Oh, that little bit, this little stair step kind of looks bad, too. Shoot, um, we can break that up with... I can't reach it. I can't reach it. Remember, that was wool. If I put... Okay. There we go. That fixed that too. Okay. No, it didn't. We missed. It was this guy. Shoot. We got it. We got it. We got it. Um, I'm going to go right there. That was white that I was supposed to do, right? It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I keep missing it. It's this guy. I was trying to get rid of that little Z there, but it's fine. It looks like a vein. Plus, perspective down here, you don't really see it. Moving on. Moving on. Walk away. Walk away. Taco. Taco. <laughs> Anyone new to the stream? Why, why is he saying taco? What? <laughs> what does taco have to do with anything? And now I want tacos. Thanks, Impulse. I'm going to I'm getting Chipotle for lunch. That's what the daughter wanted for lunch. We're doing a we're doing a thing where we go to school and have have lunch with our our youngest. And she wanted Chipotle. Pray for me. I may not <laughs> I may not be streaming Phasma this afternoon. <laughs> Epic, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Hey, Impulse just gave you my first ever Twitch sub. Love your content. Keep up the great work. Well, thank you so much, Epic, and welcome to the sub club. Enjoy your channel badge and emo. It's so good to have you, and I appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Amazing. Magpie Macau, thanks for the 200 bits. You placed a Mrs. Impulse Etsy order. Can't wait to get it and give my bridesmaid their prezies. Thank you for introducing me to her shop. Amazing. Uh, yeah. My wife's still been doing the Etsy thing, making custom jewelry, bookmarks, and then she just added a new thing to her lineup. They're like sun catchers, I think. She's got like hummingbirds and butterflies and stuff. Really cool stuff. If you guys are into the uh, the custom made jewelry bookmarks and and I, I'm pretty sure it's sun catchers. I'm not sure what they're called. Um, you can check it out. There's a link right there in chat. And if you're watching on YouTube, I usually put it in the description as well. My wife's going to kill me if you guys go order a bunch of stuff, but <laughs> no, she she's so proud of her shop. It's and I'm proud of her. She does such an amazing work. Chunk for uh chunk frock. Got to got to enunciate that. Thanks so much for the 100 bits. And Jay, thank you for the 100 bits. Silly question. I struggle with including depth in my builds. Do you have any tips? Um for me, I had to kind of sacrifice this idea of the wall being only like two blocks wide. And you can see we go from like this whole wall, we have just the outer frame, inner detail, and then background. And I think just having those three layers helps. As much as I hate the fact that the panes attach to these blocks, I think having full glass blocks wouldn't look as good because it would look flat with that, with that layer. I could have sacrificed maybe one more layer to give it a little more depth and go four deep on the wall. And then set back the glass blocks one more and then have the background. <laughs> it's painful. Yes, indeed. Uh, I wish there was a way to have to say, tell these panes right here, do not connect to these blocks. I know when you do it in like world edit and stuff, you can. You can force these to not attach, right? But then in survival, obviously they're gonna do what they're gonna do. But that would be kind of cool if we had some sort of magic wand that could be like whoop, whoop, whoop. So, yeah, just just give yourself the the the, blo the block depth, and then of course, I mean, seeing the stuff that like with texturing, even though these wool blocks and everything are are on the same slice, because there's texture in there, it almost gives it a little bit of perspective depth, right? That's all I got. I'm not the best builder on the server by far. Somebody like Pearl would probably have a much better answer than me. So next time Pearl streams NJ, hit her up for her, her two cents too. <laughs> hey, it's your fault for being so good, Pearl. I, you know, 
Maybe maybe stop being such a tryhard. <laughs> Could you just Pearl do me a favor? Could you just be worse <laughs> at what you do? I know, I know. I, I have a big build, but big doesn't mean good. You know that. You know that. Big doesn't doesn't equal good. Um let's do I kinda wanna I I know it feels bad to go back. <laughs> Aw. Thanks, Pearl. Yeah. What I was saying was it feels weird to have the light dissipating, but then sprinkle in one more darker block above it as as what's it's supposed to go from dark to light. But I think I think I kind of like that. It's almost like it just kind of like snuck its way in, like it scattered its way in a little bit. Maybe I'm 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 doing things wrong, but it's okay. That's what I want to do this season. Thank you, Balloon Arena. Uh, this season, I definitely want to do a lot more f like freehand stuff. You notice I don't have some sort of light matica up in front of me telling me every block goes here. Uh, it's more fun. I learned this last season kind of the hard way um, that I missed freehand building. And, and yes, I will admit these will probably end up not looking as good. Uh, if I go here, is that weird? Yeah, I want to do this again, I think. I could spend hours and hours in creative making this perfect. Making it absolutely 100% perfect. And then I could come on the server and I could I could light Matica and place all the blocks exactly like they were in creative. And that is boring for two reasons. One, I just spent half my day in, in that scenario. I spent half my day in creative alone in a world without my friends. And then I came on here and just paint by numbers the rest of the build for the second time, basically. No! No! I need an ender pearl. I need an ender pearl. All right, I'm going up. I can't leave it. Oh, Jem feels bad. Someone got hip. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that was with an exclamation point. Sleep now. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Just use my elytra to fly up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not rushing elytra, guys. If I go to the end, the yeah, scaffolding, I, I don't have enough slime and stuff. For, right, slime? Isn't it? What is scaffolding? No, it's string. Shoot, how do you make scaffolding? Why don't I know? It won't tell me on this, will it? Nope. It's string and bamboo. Oh, I kept thinking it was slime. Yeah, I want to go to the end for purple and not Elytra. Same Z's. Wanna go on an adventure? Adventure with me. I just want to go get some some uh, end stone and the, the the coarse stuffies. Okay, cool. Slimes for a lead. We'll go to the end and grab some stuff. It'd be nice to get that stuff growing because in order to get to our cyberpunk detailing, Gem. Super group assemble pearl. Do you want to go to the end too? I mean, we finished a wall. It almost feels like finish a wall. <laughs> finish a wall. 
do something else. Then we'll finish a wall, do something else, finish a wall, do something else. That's, that sounds like a perfectly balanced stream. That's a good strat. Okay. I'll probably just replay mod and uh, montage it. I love, I love the way I did that last season when the soup group went to the end and just kind of like montaged our audio over top of replay mod. Could probably just do that same exact thing again. It'd work out great. Jim Dandy, thanks for the 100 bits. I don't know what happened to my horse. I need food. I need more foodies. I haven't been breeding up the uh, cows enough. I'll just switch to mutton. Membranes. I have some membranes too. I don't have a brewing stand. Hmm. We don't need slow falling though, do we? We're not raiding cities. We're just gonna go grab some. Yeah, yeah. We're just gonna go in, get the flower, and go. I just need to. I, I need help finding the portal and stuff. It'll be a quick trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick trip. Like the uh, gas station they have here in America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just flower and go. So we just gotta go through the uh, the portal. So I need to bring a trapdoor for that, right? Okay some blocks I'll bring some nasty blocks to leave people love that <laughs> you got to drink it QT quick trip QT Abe Frizel, thank you for the thousand bits been watching for so long aside from all the streaming I hope you and your family as well thank you so much everybody's doing great everybody's doing great it was my oldest daughter's birthday this week and uh, it was a good one it was a good one we got her a bike. She doesn't want to drive. I think that's normal these days. And I don't blame everybody for being uh, a little anxious about driving. Because, wow. I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like after the pandemic, everybody forgot how to drive properly. And it's scary out there. <laughs> so, yeah, my oldest daughter, she, she didn't really want to learn to drive yet. And so uh, we just got her a bike so she could still get out and get around. Yeah, we got our electric bike. It's crazy. Electric bikes are insane. I was I was actually like nervous for her. <laughs> I I put it on like speed one, and I I was like going twenty miles an hour without without pedaling. I'm all, oh, <laughs> this is basically like an electric scooter. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> so hopefully she uh she took it slow. Okay, shall we go? I'll go find Jim. Whoa, what mod? What mod did I try to... Reefy. Oh yeah, I don't have to type in the chat, right? Hello. Let's go get a flower. Oh, it's my, flower picking time. My thorns. My thorns. Flower picking in space. Don't you, don't you love my thorns? Gem, I have, I, I'm going to save this. I haven't looked in here. i got to get a proper clip of... You haven't uh, looked? Oh, mm -mm. Look. Nope, 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 nope. It's nothing exciting. Oh, I'm sure it's good. <laughs> I'm sure it's great. <laughs> I did my best. I did my best. <laughs> it's early game. I don't expect, you know, crazy stuff. Come on. But I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I know uh, I saved you a couple trips to the Nether. You and, did. Uh, yep, you did. You're not a huge fan of the Nether. Ooh, let me hit record real quick. Hopefully it doesn't mess up my stream. Um, bang and bang. Do you know where anything is? Because I don't. No. I don't. Did the replay Did anybody save? put coordinates in our Discord, I wonder? Oh, weird. Replay buffer didn't save. That's okay. Uh, Cub was the one that has been to the end first, right? Mm. There's a spot on my building. There's a white stair. What? Are you looking? Are you looking? Are you looking? Pearl, are you going to come join us? Pearl, are you still watching? And then when she gets here, it gets weird. You have to shut off the stream real quick. Belt fed Joe, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Might as well. Come on by. Uh, it says, dude, uh, we got a Maverick down here in Tucson. I don't know which it's one crazy he went how much to. better There's their food is than QT. 
Oh, Maverick, yes, yes. Map. The trucker stops, right? Oh, Andrew, thanks for the 100 bits. Uh, should we just go to the nether and see if we can find signs? Do you think he would have done portal in the nether or do you think he would have done overworld? Anybody that watches has been I watching Cub no lately? Idea. Do you guys know how he got to the end? Who's the last person that's been there? Oh, that was quiet. Oh, I put a texture pack in that, um, or a resource pack that quiets down the eating. Kind of like it. <laughs> you made your eating and quiet? Yeah. <laughs> Haven't you ever, like, started eating and be like, wow, that's super loud? So I turned it down on the, the, the resource pack from Vanilla Tweaks. There's a thing where you can say, make eating food quieter and I did that and so you just ate and it threw me off a little bit I thought my game sounds were down <laughs> <laughs> maybe that one's maybe that one I can pull out <laughs> you're just so silly nobody likes listening to somebody chew right he's just a little audio guy mm-hmm mm -hmm. okay we, we should go we were we are gonna have to dip in the nether I think just to see all right let's go uh tangos is the closest portal that I know of Unless you know of a different yeah. one. Nope. Okay, let's go. Uh, if you see a horse named Tyler the Stallion, um, let me know, please. Did you lose your horse? I did. I did Impulse. a little fishing earlier with Green, and uh, I got off the horse and didn't put it in a little hole, and now it's gone. <laughs> I hope it's not oh, swimming with the my fishes. Oh, my goodness. Horses uh, won't do that, do right? They won't drown themselves in the... Do we need gold armor for nether, or is it on the roof? I'm hoping it's on the roof. But to be fair, I don't know how, I don't know where the get to the roof part is. Oh, God. Pearl, you ready? We're heading your way. Kind of. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you okay? Mm, Skiz good. made a <gasps> hole. You yeah. need to talk to him. <sighs> no! You see how inconvenient that is? It's super inconvenient. There's only one way for me to get out. Why did he dig this and then stop digging? <laughs> okay, where's Tango at with the whole don't be that guy bit? Because th this is already teed up for him. <laughs> He's just leaving holes. Skiz, we got enough cracks on the server, dude. We don't need more. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I love him. It's just such a <laughs> random, like... <laughs> what was he... I don't understand why he needs to go down that low, but... Kiss, I'll trust the process. Did you hear me use your line in my episode? Yeah. As Jem would say, trust the process. Guess yeah. what? There was still commenters that didn't trust the process, Jem. Oh, they're all, you're going to feel so much of my pain from last... Last that building is awful. So There's mean. no detail. It's flat and ugly. When they don't ugly. trust your process, they're so mean. It <laughs> makes for a miserable season. <laughs> Hi, friends. Uh, hello. Soup group assembled. Who's got the soup? Someone's got oh, the soup, right? Nobody. We're we got to have a new tradition, Pearl. It's a new season. No, we're eating oh. We don't steak carry things over. Steak group? Oh, is that what it is? Just steak group? <gasps> steak Fancy. group. Yeah, steak right, group. Right, in the nether. Come on. In the nether. I don't got all day. I need flour. <laughs> we love phantoms so much here. Hey, there's Tango. <laughs> Tango. <laughs> it was Tango's fault the whole time. The whole time. <laughs> all right. Do we know where we're going? Do we need Tango's help? I don't know how to get the end. Tango's probably just help. got up. He probably just woke up. He's probably got morning voice. I'm going. <laughs> so loud. Welcome to the nether. We love it here, don't we? Yep. It's okay. It's like Australia. Like <laughs> I'm guessing, are these oh. steps going up an indication that that's a way to get above? What's that platform uh... over there? I don't know. Where are we going? Fruit group. Well, Nether roof near up... spawn portal. We got So we got to head towards spawn portal, which would be way. southeast, right? Uh-oh, you got someone that wants to kill your face. Guys? I won't let him. Oh, oh take that. <laughs> Does that go above the nether? I don't know. Pearl, Pearl was saying. Pearl was talking. There's and then she gone? Here, Where'd you go? Uh, this seems like it would be, right? Wait, where? Come on. 
Oh, no, that's my thing. That's wrong. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. That's my Girl, ladder to the it. desert. Not it. Come back. She gone. I know that feels like it should be it, but it's not. I think we got to go that way. People need to put signs on things. Doc made a ladder somewhere. I know nothing's nothing's uh By people I mean you. Why doesn't that have a sign? Um I figured nobody would I, I think I think it's another roof before. I know it was like a little little staircase wall somewhere, but is Okay, it, let's find is it. it. The weird looking dirt staircase being made. I what think it's gotta be towards closer to spawn, right? Which would be off this way. Oh, so you heard last time I did go through the spawn portal now that you mention it. Uh-huh. Okay. Gumpus isn't working. Oh! Ah, yes, this way. Okay. We shall find it. It's over here. It's up here. Side. This way. Come on. This is why we invited Pearl. Pick we up need the somebody. It's so, well, at least Pick one of face. us had to know. <laughs> Let's go. Time to go. Time to go. Where'd she go? Pick up them shoes. Oh, oh, that is... Very secretive. Can we at least put a different block at the entrance there? There's two torches on the front of it. How much do we have? Like, I want like a gravel block or something. Where? Oh. Can we get some real stairs? I'm just going to whine. Here, <laughs> About everything. Up here. Hey. It's way easier than to complain than it is to fix the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right, we're above the nether. The Woo! So, oh, do we even know if there is a portal to the end? No. No. Then why are we here? Okay, I'm that's just it. following you two. Okay, Come that's off. it. We gotta. I'm going Discord. <laughs> you saying you let us in here without knowing if there's a portal or not? Uh. I don't think. Why would there be a portal? It only Cub went. Cub usually makes portals, right? That'd be nice of him, but I wouldn't expect him to do that. It we was the first just, one. We could just overworld adventure, right? Look like you were doing. How far Jen. away is it? Look on the map. Cub said the closest one is to the it's south, the and there's a border, so we can't. It's not even the closest one, which scares me. Oh, I see the other two on the map. It looks like they're in the oceans. It's which gotta journey be up here. is it? So fast. Gotta be up here Much somewhere. Speed. Where did these torches go? That's Doc's farm. Doc. To Doc's thing. Okay. Hmm. Doc has a shulker farm already. Oh my gosh. Well, could we calculate the coordinates and just put a portal down ourselves? Yeah, 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 yeah. We could. I didn't bring the stuff for it. Flint and steel. I don't know obsidian or anything. Okay, nope. then that's not. Gonna... <laughs> we can't do that. That's that's your answer right there. Let's go home. Come on, everybody. Okay. Well. <laughs> We gotta go to the overworld. Best, this is, best, I don't know why we're in here. Uh, best organized trip we've ever had. It took so long to walk. I was fishing. Right. You were fishing. We could just not. We could get purple next week. We I want it now. Right now. I need to. I need to start making a farm, even if it's a little one. I need end rods. Because uh, you're, you're too far into the end game, impulse. Cyberpunk I need it, needs end rods. I don't rods. need it now. It's not, it's not vital. Follow the torches, they said. Hold on. Follow the torches. So you remember that torch trail that was up there? Is that really? That's Doc's thing, though. And that was going south. That doesn't make sense. No, there's no the way to be south, are docks, right? Like, like, for sure. Follow the torches, turn left. And we got some people familiar. The Doc's torches do go left. It's directly to the swap. Hmm. <laughs> I went there the other day, so I don't. Oh! Confused. Oh, yeah. Don't Ow. you dare! <laughs> what happened? I, you know what? We if I would have seen gold. that coming, I would have warned you. You're slacking on the warning. I know. Completely. I know. The behind you gem is, uh. I'm just not on it anymore. Well. What I do think you think? We're out of luck. Do you want to try the torches to see if they're right? Or. What do you guys think? It wouldn't take long to just try to follow the torches real quick and see where it goes. I yeah? You can follow the torches. Okay. Let's just do it. I know we're kind of going back and forth, but here we are. 
We just, I we just promise my stream and adventure. You know? And by golly, we will have one. <laughs> just be a little jellos. A little wiggly wobble. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep. Go ahead. You okay, buddy? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm too wide oh, for these one block. Feeling. You, you lift them up, <laughs> lift, lift, get your knees going. No, Come stop on. it. Stop it. He's still getting adjusted to being tall of the season. Give him a give him a break. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, yeah, yeah. Three feet. You know, it's awkward when you hit that growth spurt and you don't know how to, how to manage your body all of a sudden. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You you remember. Can relate. Yeah. That was Six like foot. a couple years ago for both of you, I'm sure. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Sure. <laughs> Hang on. Wait, wait, hold on. Was that a devil rage? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, it was. Yep. <laughs> hey, it goes both ways, okay? You guys can crack on me for being old. I can crack on you for being young, yeah? I just told him about his knees, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty of cracks going then, hey? Oh my gosh, look at all the gas. Is it this um, So we go left here, I think. I think that's what they were saying. Because Doc's torch is the ones that go right. These are new. They Oh that's my gosh. Look at the gas with the fresh animations. Oh! You guys don't have fresh animations, do you? No, they're just, no. They're, it's like a fence of gas for me. Oh. Cheater. Cheater? It makes the mob so cute. I'm just mocking the audience because they think everything's cheating. Yeah. <laughs> the gas are doing the wave. It's amazing. So I'm hoping this is it. Should we brought a bed or something? I guess not. We're not gonna die. We're just collecting fruit. How hard Whoa. could that be? <laughs> You've just jinxed it now. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> We're gonna die now. Watch the dragon be there. Better not. And then I we're need stuck. my gear. <laughs> this is the mining desert chat. It's the mining <clears> desert. <throat> Yay! Good job. Yeah, wow. Does it oh. go down? Is there anything here? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the mining desert. Is there is it something over here? Uh, is it What's in this? the mining desert? Wait, let's <gasps> check our coordinates and I'll look at the map. Okay, go ahead. It's got to be it, right? Wait, this is Woo! it. Oh, we gone. <laughs> got it. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Beautiful. That was way too brave. Blood. It's like a plunge. It was water. It was fine. <laughs> she like, just really. jumped. She just just Wait. take the leap. Sometimes that's what you gotta do. You just gotta take the leap. Like I have to worry so about demise anymore. Is this in our mining desert or is this not our mining desert? I guess that's not the mining desert. Could be both. Why not both? Respawn the dragon. Leave four Ooh. end crystals. Oh, that is so considerate. We're not doing that. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, <we're not>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys ready? Check respawn. <laughs> Okay. Are they coming? I want to respawn back at my base, not there. Hey. Hi. You didn't set your spawn there, did you? We don't want to go back there. Oh, I did set my spawn there, yep. Oh. Uh, you probably just don't in want case to. We die. We're not ah! going to die. I had a I had a bit of an I'm I'm worried about how you're getting out of there. <laughs> I'll just break the bed, put it back down, come back in, jump in the portal again, and go to spawn. Smart. Okay. I decided to click the bed. Just in case Her, there was any. We'll do that. All Her right. Don't Her let me do die then. Me. I'm the only one. Okay. If I die, you're. I'm gonna need you to collect some stuff for me. Okay. Starting with, I need a few of these. You didn't bring any blocks in, post? No, I have blocks. Oh, I, I just. Need to I need these them. to plant the coarse fruit. Well, you guys with your fast pickaxes, you know, I'll be here in uh -oh. the early game, you know. Gotta get fishing. She's punching blocks. I am fishing. Bare fisted. <laughs> Gotta get better I luck. Punching the blocks. Oh, we could get ender pearls from here. Did anybody make like a makeshift enderman farm? Oh, that's what nope. that is. Flowers isn't it? only. Flowers. Okay. Flowers. Okay, only. okay, okay. But we came all this way. No. Just wants the flowers. We could always raid the entities while we're at it, but we're not. She's gone. Around. Gem's going. She's gone. Is she wrong? Is there a trapdoor up there? No. Or do you need my help? There's no trapdoor, but I also don't need your help. What? Do we need pills? No. Oh. Did it. Nope, she gone. She ain't wasting any time. Whoop! 
Ah! Okay. That's a lot of Endermen. Oh. Watch your step. Oh, oh no! Ah! Ah! No! Pearl, is that you? Ah! Pearl, Pearl! Yep. Pearl, why'd you do that? Ah! Okay, uh -oh. you good? Uh -oh. Are you okay? Uh -oh. You need help? Ah! You need... No, no! No, I'm gonna help! You're no, fine! I'm gonna hot, hot, Pearl's hot, gonna be hot, absolutely hot, fine, that's fine, absolutely fine. Maybe more I'm water, Pearl. Maybe more water, Pearl. Back here, water, Pearl. Pearl, water, back here. Pearl is standing in the water, Pearl. Come to me! This is Pearl, he's over there. The water's not gonna be a good idea. Apparently, she's gonna circle over here. Here, come on. Come on, you can do it. Just circle, just keep circling. Get in the water, get in the water, get in the water, get in the water. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How close were you? You were pretty close, huh? Heart and a half. One more hit and you were toast. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Good thing you set your spawn. I'm like coming in. You'll have to look at all these guys. Jeez. Oh my gosh. The fresh animations, their arms are like so long. Okay. All right, are they all cool? Everybody cool? <laughs> Meanwhile, Jeff's just out here harvesting. <laughs> Flowers. I'm glad you're having a peaceful I time, I saved Jim. you. I put down water. This is my water. Yep. Thank you very much. I'm going to take it back. Ay, ay, ay. Oh. I did not need that. I did not. Did not. <laughs> Get the blood pumping, you know. So panicked. <laughs> Just so we got it. In case yeah, you were falling really asleep. Good thing nobody panicked. It's a really good thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Thank God nobody panicked. It would have been <laughs> bad if we panicked. That. It would have been real bad. It would have been really bad if somebody panicked. <laughs> <Really bad. laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Everybody has a super level head. Nobody was worried there was, about anything. There, there was no screaming My square, of, of any level. kind. <laughs> 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 I think that was the most panicked I've been all season. Even if it's the most. <laughs> oh. I've got yeah. 21 flowers. Oh, that's right. We need. I don't have a bow for these things, though. <gasps> yeah, and we're getting some flowers. flowers. Right? Yeah, 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 I'm shooting them off first. Yeah, bro. Yay! I have nine flowers. Hey, thank that's you. That's something. That's flowers. probably enough, honestly. Yeah, yeah, just to get things started. They grow easy. Ah, I swear these endermen are walking in front of me on purpose. So rude. Yeah, imagine if you look at one of them. That would be bad. <laughs> yeah, that could go south easily, couldn't it? Quite so. <laughs> I'm so including that in my video. That's panicking I'm as sorry. Pearl runs in circles. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're going to have some circus music. <laughs> <laughs> Just watch Pearl run in circles. <laughs> Sorry for that over me, okay? I've already got Not some music lined up. I actually have clown circus oh, music in a folder oh, for a moment specifically like this. I already have it downloaded. Well, all right, you guys will have to just turn down the peaks because I'm pretty sure I probably blasted your eardrums. <laughs> no, I got you way down. Don't even worry about it. What is it? What okay. I got Pearlette. I got Pearlette. Actually, you're just at three. You're fine. Okay, I got enough. We want to. I got enough. You want more? I'm happy. Okay. This is enough to get me started. Can you use your trapdoors? Yeah, I got my trapdoors. One second. Let me get them set up. Don't push me off here. It's terrifying. Uh, what do we need to do? Bang, bang, right? Like a little mouth. Yep. We can Boom! All right. See, they're going to regret clicking the bed now. I regret nothing. <laughs> I regret everything. Well, you All gotta, you you gotta is, do a, a round to do trip now. destroy the bed, jump back in, I and know, then jump back out. That's a lot of work, feels like. Okay, go ahead, what go if in. Go, had died? go in, break the bed, exactly, and then I'll wait for you. Right? We'll all go back together. Hold on, she's gonna break the bed, so we go back to spawn. Okay. Oh, I Ooh. guess you guys will go back to spawn spawn. I'm gonna go back to my base. So either yeah, way, okay. we're gonna split you up. You live the cushy life, huh? All right, I will wait. I'll wait for her, her to return. Oh, you know, I could get some ender pearls. Get some. Oh, it's an ender chest, too. Yeah, yeah, ender pearls for ender chests. Hold on, hold on. This will be easy mode, right? Ooh. Except, oh wait, no, they don't take the they don't take the dirt blocks, do they? Uh, I guess we turned off the memory 
Yeah, yeah I was going to say. Does someone die early in the season? Typically, you don't want to make an overhead thing with dirt. But we have Enderman griefing off. So this is what fine. Was the, loud. What Jeez. was the series where the Enderman griefing was on? I think Grief died. Series. Is died, actually? Is that the series? Probably, uh, yeah. Can only turn the game down. How many do I have? Two? That's not enough. Why are these guys not giving me more than two? I need looting. It's so loud. Why are we doing this for ender chests? Uh, you need an ender pearl for ender chests, right? But also, when you go to raid the city, you get, like, infinite ender chests. Yeah, but I want one now. Oh, blaze rods are a thing, too, I suppose. Okay, okay. We won't, we won't go much longer. Last one. Them. It was mine. Ah. Oh no, I had another one. Dang it! Oh, you! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Oh, 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 <laughs> I almost got I'm there. staying out of whatever that is. I'm gonna look at the ground. I've She's trying to murderficate me. Hey. Murderficate. <laughs> okay, where's there? Let's go. How are the crystals still here? Because he bedded oh. it, probably. Uh. Oh, yeah, Those are the ones that you can shot. move with pistons, I bet. He just did like the one cycle, bam, done. He did the beds, yeah. Wow. Okay. Let's go. Right? Woo! Get out. We beat the game! It didn't give me any achievement or nothing. Oh, I guess we didn't beat the game. We didn't kill the dragon. <laughs> All right. We're back home. Um, I don't have a big space for this stuff, so I'm just going to grow out here. On to the next season. We beat the game. We can move on to the next season. It's been a great season, everybody. I'm glad uh, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys really enjoyed the cyberpunk theme. We did such an amazing job with it. I'm super proud. <laughs> uh, I'll just grow a few out here. I don't need to grow them all. Did you guys enjoy Decked Out 3? That was fun. Uh, Rift 2, Electric Boogaloo. That was a cool part of the season, too. What else, what else, what other parts of the season did you enjoy the most? <laughs> the Rift 2, Electric Boogaloo. Oh, watch that, watch that actually happen now. <laughs> you liked, uh, Iskal's community building? Okay. The Civil War before between Joel and Green was uh, definitely one I didn't see coming. That was a fun storyline. I liked that one a lot. Big Salmon got it uh, uh, out of control. I couldn't believe the direction that one took. I, I never, I never knew Beef had that in him to uh, to get that dark of a character. That was crazy. Yeah, that Civil War was. I mean, what did you expect? You have Joel versus Green. You'd think they're, you know, they're they're like best friends IRL, and and then to to get into such a heated battle like that, um, I'm I'm worried about their actual friendship. It got so it got so nasty, but I, I think they'll be okay. Uh, they they've been friends for a while. I think they can work through it. Doc and Cubs Mega Shopping Mall was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and also the the mega perimeter was was neat, right? The fact that we covered up not one but two of Doc's mega perimeters. I can't believe it happened again, you know. That was that was a good time. Yeah, I can't believe Skiz volunteered to do the nether hub. Like that's a that's a that's a brave move on Skiz's part. To be the new guy and raise his hand to do the Nether Hub. I think he did a good job, though. Um, I think I, I think I give I give that Nether Hub not my favorite Nether Hub of all time. Um, I think season six is probably still my favorite one. But uh, yeah, it's up there. It's definitely top ten. <laughs> uh, too fun. <laughs> The second Hermit Gang song. Yeah, the sequel. Hermit Gang sequel. That was good. That was good. It was uh it was pretty crazy that we got Drake involved in that, in the making of that. 
Uh, I had no idea that Drake was such a big Hermitcraft fan. And when we found out and we were able to get him involved in the uh, the making and uh, cameo of Hermit Gang 2, that was like, I was so hyped. <laughs> What's up, Scott? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> He's the number one Scott. Yes, he is. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. Come on, you made, you made it. it. Long journey. Just oh, like the bed's bed like would break. break. We uh, we beat the game, so we went on a whole journey of the season being over because we beat the game. Yeah, you saw that little end screen there. It said you beat the game. Well done, Minecrafter. <laughs> we did. <laughs> We got the credits. So the that means the season, credits. yeah, the credits. The credits rolled. The season's oh. over, season's and so we done? were just we were just reminiscing about all the all of our favorite parts of season ten. Okay, what's your favorite bit? Um, the civil war that broke out between Joel and Green, and pretty much ended their IRL friendship. Wow. Okay, that'd be a favorite yeah. moment, though, man. Like that's just kind of that's not a impressive. moment. Yeah. Oh, moment wise. Oh man. Yeah, it's too tough. I mean, there's a lot of them. Uh, the the Rift Tube Electric Boogaloo was kind of fun uh, when we R came Rift, through. Rift Tube <laughs> Electric Boogaloo? The Rift 2, yeah. Rift, I just said tube, so that's all I imagine. Rift <laughs> Tube, man. Um, Skizzle Man volunteering to do the Nether Hub. I, I thought was pretty pretty fun moment for oh, the new guy so, to get so brave. That was so, so honorable. Yeah. Yeah. Man, he did such a good job at it. And then... Um, now we were just talking about the uh, Hermit Gang sequel that came out after the, that the Second Civil War broke out, and the fact that we got Dude, help from vocals. Drake. That was so good, man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Were Rapping so much better Absolutely now than good. it was back then. Uh, you know, I've released a, another so rap progress. album since. So. <laughs> Drop the mixtape, mate. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> this come by Civil War. Uh, fun season though. Fun season. Yeah, definitely ended with a bang though. I'm gonna Pearl, do you want to uh, do you want to give my stream an exclusive preview? Of uh, what in particular? Come in here. Okay. I'm gonna let you do this. They've not seen oh. this yet. Okay. Okay. I have a hidden chest in here. There's gonna be an item that doesn't look right. Bottom row, second from the right. Put it on oh. your head. Put it on your head. Oh, You're to gonna wear, be the first I to like show this off. like wearing funky things. Okay. Here okay. we go. They have not shown this what yet. What is this? Yoink. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you just wanted to see me with a mustache, didn't you? <laughs> Was that McDonald's French fries? No, it's <laughs> on hair. <her> head? <laughs> it's spiky hair, dude. It's oh, McDonald's French like fancy fries. stuff on the side too. Look at uh -huh, me go. Uh -huh. I'm all fancy. It's coming, guys. It's coming. Say Cyberpunk mode here. engaged is happening very soon. Oh, let me get rid of the. I the... can't unsee the French fries. <laughs> the side bits are good though. Great. <laughs> it's Great. just French fries. Oh no! Did someone ask for mac and cheese? <laughs> oh, don't you dare say it's mac and cheese! Ah, oh, you ruined her. Now I gotta get him to change it. <laughs> oh it? no! Was it? No. I'm getting you back. <laughs> Jeez. Scott, don't back him up. He says it does look like French fries. Stop it. Looks it looks like French fries. Not from like down, but like from here when she looks up. Every cyberpunk That's character French fries. has French fries on their head. Isn't it normal? <laughs> <laughs> wait, are you gonna go? Wait, no, you've already. What color is your hair and your skin? Is it already? It's usually brown, but it's it's, it's cyberpunk, so I, I dyed it blonde. Just the tips, uh... frosted tips. Oh, kinda. I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got a whole skin Girl, to go you look with good it. With a mustache. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Kinda, kinda it actually works. matches my hair color. Perfectly. It's a, it's an itty bitty mustache, not as glorious as the dwarven mustache I had last season, but at least or, or, or beard. It, it's it's still pretty good. It's, I feel like I need a mustache separately so I can just wear. <laughs> you know, just French a slight beard for hair. 
Very nice. It's going to flow better when it's with the actual skin that I have. Yeah, for sure. I think it'll look great when we see it with context. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pearl's red cape is not helping the, uh, <laughs> the McDonald's. Yeah, that really does. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Supersize me, please. Supersize me. You want some Extra french salt? fries with that? Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> oh, thanks. Now everybody wants oh, french wait, fries. Jim. Your turn, Jim. Ooh. No, doesn't, doesn't. Oh, I haven't seen with, it. Doesn't go with You're my. You're not gonna do uh, it. Jam. Yeah, I, do it. I don't want Put the mac on. and cheese hair. I don't Put the mac it. and cheese on Come your on, face. Jeff. Do I don't want it. the mac and cheese do French fry hair do it. Come on, do we just want to see it. I think it really goes with my vibe, you know. I think it does. Wear it. it. She's she. She Body does not pooper. succumb to peer pressure. <laughs> she does not. Body pooper. Oh man. Come on, Jim. <laughs> Wait, impulse. It's below Wait. your mouth. <laughs> yeah, it's a beard, beard not a mustache. That's why. It's not a mustache. Oh, no, it's, it's just the, it's just the bottom beard stuff. Hold on. Wait, give that back to Pearl. Shirt. It's a mustache. mustache. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, that's not on me. It's not. Wait. <laughs> it's a mustache. It's a mustache. <laughs> it's a mustache. No. That is not a beard. It's my beard. It's, it's a mustache. Not, my teeth are mustache. above it. That makes it my beard, not a mustache. Oh dear. Okay, well, it's a mustache. Oh, there? I think it's a mustache. It mustache does on, on pro because it, it has my, that where it goes my down. My personal and it, head cannon is it. that you now have a chin mustache. A chin mustache. <laughs> a chin stash. I didn't see the fan of that. Oh. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I'm gonna reveal this later in my my next episode. We've decided. I'm not waiting it. for. I'm not waiting for demise to be over. Ooh. I don't. I, I oh, need that color. was your original time frame. I, I, I'm the only hermit that changed my skin to a colorless skin. Yeah, because we yeah. didn't. We weren't doing the skins. Yeah, nobody told me that. I didn't get the memo. Okay. <laughs> the memo was that there's a bunch of people in the server who have never played demise, and it wasn't brought up to do it, so everybody assumed we weren't doing it. I guess. Okay. I guess. I was demise. I didn't Last the demise, I had an awesome honest. skin. I didn't, I, I didn't know that I should be preparing a skin. I panicked when it was like an hour before season launch, and I think Joe brought it up. And I was like, oh, yeah, I had that really cool, you know, washed out skin for Demise 1. And I, I quick threw, threw my skin into Photoshop and said, take all the color out. And that's what I ended up with. This oh. terrible. Was there a Reaper in I Demise 1? I did even think just... about it. Oh, no. No, there was no Reaper in Demise One, I don't think. I think I think everybody was everybody was just like kill who's left. There was no designated mm. people to do it. I think that's the difference with it. Like the Reaper doesn't feel like gray scale, you know? It still feels like You should have red I don't know, eyes. You got a bit of color. But no longer the Reaper and oh, Dead. We're all on the dead red, team. But, but at that that stint as the Reaper, we should have had like red demonic things, right? Going on. I think it's hard to do so. that at the start of the season. Yeah. If you want to yeah. like start your own theme. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's why I'm going to ditch it and go cyberpunk mm. today, tomorrow, maybe. Oh, Ooh. actually. Oh, we got stream day tomorrow. So that might be too much spoiler. I might have to wait till Sunday. So that's in my next episode. I did not know I was going to be home for Saturday. Turns out oh, I'm you didn't sign up. So I'm probably going to. Yeah, I didn't sign up. Uh, but that's okay. I'll Just log in. I'll probably be around tomorrow out. a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, log in, hang out with everybody. It'll be fun. I found out after the sign up that I we, had, a, had a Saturday to use. We have Zits scheduled for, it would be, yeah, this same time tomorrow, uh, starting an hour and a half ago, is Zits. Oh, that's not too bad. ZF, Impulse, uh, Tango, and Skiz. And I'm that sure must we'll, feel cool we'll to have, have all laughs. of you on Craft. It is <laughs> amazing to, to finally have all of Zits here. It's going to be so much fun. That's awesome, dude. It's going to be so much fun. All right, I'm gonna yeah. go back to texturing some windows. Thanks for the uh, the adventure. Thanks for the adventure and the loss of voice moment. I appreciate it. <laughs> I got that recorded. It? it might go in a video. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> See you later. Bye. Oh, let's catch up real quick. Thanks, guys. Uh, that was fun. Proud Lumi, thank you for the hundred bits. Oh, Andrew, thanks for the 100 bits. Adventure with Jam, time to find out what sound a camel head makes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. 
<laughs> Ewok headshot. Thanks for the 100 bits. It's all fun and games till the Endermen start taking the dirt blocks. I know. It's a, if we had... If we didn't have the anti anti enderman grief, and I think we would have died there. <laughs> Krithios, thanks for 345 bits. Been a while, glad you can drop in and uh, watch the streams again. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Thanks for hanging out. Let's get some more windows done. That's what we're gonna. That's what we're gonna do. Get some windows done. Do something else. Get some windows done. Do something else. We got chorus fruit growing now, so that's good. Hypno died. Yeah. See, that's the thing with streams. You guys are getting exclusive previews. Okay, these ones are easier because they're only three blocks high, so it makes it real easy to just go bop bop, um, and then maybe carry like one more up, and then do that, and then. No, wait a minute. I have to go up really quick. Yeah. Almost never do one up like that. So we can go like this, and then that. Let's see small little window so not much we can do why did i do it that way that's weird scaffolding i don't have a lot of string is my only problem it's a good idea i just don't have a lot of string okay and we'll do it. on this one it's a little bit longer of a window so don't mind coming up an extra one there Ooh. Yeah, that should be fine. And then sprinkle in the white. I wish I used to have this thing that would like cycle through like this as I was placing. I think it's is it Tweakaroo that does that? I can't remember which mod. You can have kind of like randomly pick the blocks for you. It's pretty cool. Uh -huh. And Take a quick peek. Yeah, yeah, looking good. Tweakaroo randomizer. I do have Tweakaroo, but I don't want it to be exactly random. I want to kind of vein, vein it a little bit, you know? Tweakaroo is like strictly random, as far as I know. Oops. Hey, we'll keep it. Happy little mistake, right? We'll keep our happy little mistakes. And. Double spider farm. Tango already did it. I know he found a double spider area, but did he already like make the farm? I guess I wouldn't put it past him. He works. He works pretty quick. Pretty quick, like. Uh, huh? Uh, huh? Ooh, that's gonna look weird. Just because it goes from the the darkest block straight to white. Buy that for a dollar. I'm leaving all these nether rock, blo rock blocks. <laughs> uh, four spawners, but not close enough for a single farm. That would be crazy. A quattro. Quad string farm. That'd be useful, though. Needs to corner the bamboo market. Mm hmm Oh, we need we need sprinkling white. Forgot these were the three highs. Uh, uh, yeah, ooh, double white. Might look good actually. Okay. Uh, I want one in the corner. This might look okay, let's really test that because we went from the darkest to the lightest right there. I think we better just stagger it a little bit. That's better. Cool. Music's great. Is it Pretzel Rocks? Yeah. You can hear the music today. All right. They got back to me about the, the nether roof stuff. <laughs> we had already found it. Very nice. Okay. One more to go on this level anyway. And okay. So we need, uh, if we're going to cyberpunk stuff, we need a couple things. We need, Let's start thinking about this a little bit, guys. Um, we need... Glow ink, like, like a good amount of glow ink, and that's where I'm. I'm not sure how we're gonna pull that off. Oh, okay. One white on that window. Is that okay? Yeah, it's probably okay. 
Um, there's there's ways to make glow ink farms, yeah? We're gonna need dyes, lots of colors, right? So we need we need like flower farms. Let's think of all the flar farms. <laughs> Let's think of all the farms we're gonna need. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna keep br blaming my Invisalign for all my lack of being able to speak properly lately. Um, we need some flarms, lots of flarms, all the flarms. We're not gonna be flim flim flamming around. We're gonna be flarming it up. So, with that said, let's think. Um, flower farm, frog light farm, uh, I just said it, glow ink farm. That's possible though, right? I've never, I don't know if I've ever seen a glow ink farm. It's gotta be possible though, I would assume. Right? Wool, concrete, concrete, yeah. Wool's okay, I, I already did some of the wool. I'm happy with my woolage. That's a word. My woolage is great, actually. Same as squid, just down in the ground. Okay. So squid would typically be axolotls. You throw you throw axolotls in, right? And then the axolotls kill this squid. I'm trying to remember how this works. The axolotls kill the squid. The glow ink goes to the top, and then if you have the top of it flowing water, you can send it to hoppers and stuff. Is there a better way to do it? Let's replenish real quick. Gravity block. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, like the yeah, the falling waterfalls that end with the 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 uh, the gates, right? And then they just kind of fall off, like the 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 one wide streams. That way. And then you don't use the axolotls in that method. I'm gonna have to look to see what the best method out there is. Hmm. <laughs> I'm having the hardest time making decisions on like the simplest stuff here. with this I think we're doing okay we're keeping it pretty pretty well random right Joel wants a glow squid farm too yeah yeah Joel's style is, is uh really close like him and I have really similar ideas um style wise I got a I got a whole extra game thing going on with what I'm doing or what me and b-dubs are doing but uh Joel's also building in a cyberpunk uh slash is it Japanese What's he going for? It's kind of like an oriental style, right? But yeah, it's going to be a lot of the same type of stuff where we have the glowing signs. Yeah, and when we got talking, we got we got super jazzed because we realized we could merge. Like, his can basically flow into mine. And it's almost like where you have these, like, neighborhoods, you know? And so that would be nice. <laughs> I think that's going to look super cool next to each other. I'm so excited. <laughs> when Joel found out, he was like, dude, we got to talk. <laughs> I didn't know you were going that, that direction. Because a lot of us don't actually talk about our plans too much before the season. So we find out each other's plans like once the season starts. I'm do one more. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. I like that. Oh, one more. Right there, I think. We're doing a good job. I'm happy. I'm happy with uh, how all this is looking. I think it's just the right amount. The right amount of texture. Not to, not to pat myself on the back. Am I going to texture the walls of the building? Yeah, okay, so... 
Maybe, you know, maybe instead of getting getting upset with people in the comments that are like, oh, that is such a boring building. And I'm like, wait, it's going to get detailed. Just trust the uh, process and stuff. Uh, imagine, imagine, you know, obviously some texturing on the bottom where uh, it's kind of been more eroded, right? So we're going to get a sprinkle, probably a little texturing in the bottom. But more so, uh, there'll be like little pipes and bits, you know, that kind of go around and maybe over top of the windows even. Uh, maybe some of these windows get taken out completely. Uh, I was thinking about maybe this backside not even needing a window and going going full wall here. And then this wall actually has all the extra like pipes and air conditioning units and things like that on it. Uh, that way we can fully decorate this wall because it's the back anyway. It's facing the mountain, right? So a back of a, a back of a building that nobody's really gonna see would have all that kind of stuff hidden. So instead of having this window, um, I might just take it out. I might just take it out and and just really do all the pipes and stuff there to give it that detail to be kind of snuck in the back, but it'll be fun. <laughs> Some graffiti and stuff. Yeah, they're gonna be there's gonna be a lot of life in it um, once it's done, but it's it was really hard <laughs> to start working on the detailing in that in that last episode when all of this obviously took me a long time to get all these materials together and build that by the by the end of it i was like i just need to get the episode out it's already been you know five days and stuff so but yeah we'll be able to do like banners and and uh maybe custom uh custom art you know custom maps and stuff we'll see obviously armor stands are going to be playing a big part i'll bring that up perfect and then now we're at the Layer here. Ooh. Yeah. I kind of like that style of actually going. I, I was worried about it at first going lighter than back to dark, but if it's sprinkled in properly, I think it looks pretty good. Not as ex excited about that one. Okay. So after I said that, I'm just going to change it. Oh, I'm not. No, I'm going to go way in the other direction, aren't I? Now let's just do this. Let's just step it up harsh. Yeah, that's better. Okay. There's a big yellow line right here that I don't like, though. So let's change that up. Perfect. Nice. Free camp's so nice. <laughs> I know. I know it might feel like cheating to some, but being able to... Otherwise, what I would typically do before free cam is I would log in with my camera account and just have it on another screen and then basically be like this the whole time. Play some blocks, looking at the camera. Look at, you know what I mean? Um, and I guess that's good for, like, stretching your neck. Or hurting your neck, one of the two. Two more rows. Not much I can do with this. Let's do that. Small, small little window. What's the song called? You know, I don't know. Uh, you like it? It's called Cosmic from Farah. P H A E R A. I always thought about, you know, would it be useful? For when you guys like songs to have the song title shown somewhere i don't know we've already got a lot of stuff going on on the screen don't we it was cosmic by farah not not brownie maybe a different song perfect oh it is good it's a jam you're right we'd be jamming Good shout. Good song. Uh, song title is most important. Use stream elements? Yeah, I have stream elements. Will it grab the pretzel songs, though? I don't know. There's there's easy ways to do it. I'm not... I'm sure I could figure it out pretty quick. Uh, oh, twofer. A twofer. And then... Bang. Bang. It's a lot of white. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. If V dubs gives me like okay, I gotta figure it out. Ready? I estimate about 25 buildings is is what I'm estimating. I mean this building's pretty big, but look. If you take a look at the footprint of this building right here, 
could have another one here, right? Another building here, another building there. That's three. We move over. And now, now let's just, let's go average of three this way. Okay. Average. And then we go, okay. So that's column one right there. So that's three. Column two right here would be six. Keep going. Column three be nine. Column four, 12. Okay. Maybe less, maybe, I mean, 15, maybe closer to 20 buildings. Uh, there's probably going to be a lot of little smaller buildings though. They're not all going to be that size. Like this is actually one of the bigger buildings of the city. So yeah, I mean, I think I'm probably pretty close. We're going to have probably about 25 buildings. Okay. So with that said, 25 buildings, if, if every time I build a building, B-dubs is going to build some of them. Um, but if every time I build a building, I get a tip from B-dubs like this, like the texturing. That means I'm going to learn 25, potentially 25 building techniques from B-dubs this season. Imagine growth, how much growth I could have as a builder if if he's able to, to hook me up with 25 of his amazing tips like this. I will be, I will be learning so much from him. So exciting. And then I get to show you guys. So as I learn, I get to show you like, like I did. Oh, usually that's how it went, right? Usually I would just do this window and it'd be plain. It would just be all one color. But B-dubs said, hey, what about this? And uh, and so what do you guys think? And then, of course, it was like, yep, that's obviously the way to go. B-dubs knows what he's doing. So cool. Go like this. Wow, wow, okay. Ah, I'm getting pretty good at it. I keep saying that. Can't wait till he does a redstone with B-Dub tutorial for you. Oh, yeah. So I haven't even talked about the redstone stuff, guys. I haven't even talked about how much redstone is going to actually be in the city. Maybe I could practice my speech for the video. I've been drip feeding the information. I could give you guys a little bit more, couldn't I? Okay, let's fix this. I could practice uh, my speech and then maybe we can figure out how to make it more concise. That's what I've been worried about is when I sit down to actually like explain this whole thing, that uh, lag city <laughs> incoming. No, we'll be good, we'll be good. We, we know we know how to, how to prevent lag best we can, but there will be some redstone. It's not gonna be stuff firing all the time or anything like that. We got some close neighbors that we do have to worry about that just a little bit. What if I just read you the document? Oh, do I want to do that? Hmm. I do want to reward you guys for being here. I I, I like rewarding the, the people that, that come to stream. There's an autofill. I like the autofill feature on blocks you use. Oh, yeah, that's like tweakery, right? Okay. Let's see. I'm not going to pull the dock up. It's too, uh, if I start reading that, that's going to be too much. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a happening city filled with people, very artistic people. Uh, it was a bright, colorful city. Always, always jamming. The nightclub was always popping. Uh, the streets were vibrant, so much to do, shopping was abundant, it was just a, a, the greatest place, almost, almost a utopia, if you will, in this, in this cyberpunk setting. And then one day, one day, the infrastructure completely broke down, uh, the, the residents became so focused on the, the having stuff in their lives uh, that they forgot to maintain the city. And little by little, the infrastructure started to break down. There was uh, uh, a cutoff of not only the water supply, but power to the city. In fact, even worse than that, the generator that powered the entire city and all the electricity in it 
broke. And now the city is no longer habitable by its residents. They needed to flee. And now we have an abandoned cyberpunk city. But all is not lost because we have the brave hermits to come save the city. Come to the city, repair it, fix the generator, fix the water supply, fix the power connections. How will they do this, you ask? Well, it's going to be a series of tasks. They must find the parts to the generator and find the connective pieces to tie everything back together to get the city back to life. And in order to do that, they're going to take on many challenges, many adventures, per se. You know? Maybe a little bit of parkour. Maybe they need to solve some puzzles. Maybe they need to fight some mobs. Maybe they need to do an elytra course to find the parts. And once they do find the parts, they're able to re-piece everything back together and the city will come back to life. That's the adventure. So we're going to have all sorts of stuff, guys. We're going to have... We're going to have... Hordes of mobs to fight off. We're going to have adventures to go on, like I said. We're going to have some parkour courses. you got to get to the other side. You're going to have maybe Ravager Run style. Imagine running around the block in a, in, a, in a cyberpunk city to get away from the Ravagers that are chasing you because they've inhabited the area after it was abandoned. We're going to have lots of little things tucked into different parts of the city and these different buildings. Uh, the whole city is going to be one giant adventure. And it's going to be all different things. Think about all different kind of little mini games you can play. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a spot, there's an archery range somewhere. And the only way to unlock the generator part is to hit the bullseye on five different targets before uh, your arrows despawn on your first one. And then you open a secret door. And behind that secret door is a missing part to the generator. Rebuild that generator and you can restore the city in all of its, in all its glory. That's the idea. There it is. That's not so bad. That wasn't too bad, all right? Easy to understand. And you guys get to help with every bit of it. You guys get to help with every bit of it. All these little games we're gonna play to have these little adventures in the city. Uh, you're gonna help me design. I've got some ideas, but obviously with all your braniums, we're gonna come up with some fantastic stuff. And the redstone that I was talking about is what's going to uh, make it seem like the city's either, either abandoned or once the generator's back on, everything comes to life, uh, including, you know, some movement, some animations, some sounds, all that stuff. What do you guys think? Now, that's it. That's 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 the that's the spiel. That's the pitch. You think the YouTube audience is going to like it? Mad Maddie, thank you so much for 200 bits. Maybe the infrastructure was run by AI and when I, AI went bad, it shut down. But then no one knew how to maintain their infrastructure anymore since they uh, since no one had the education. Hey, that's pretty good. I like that lore. Sounds good. It's gonna be it's gonna be almost a season long project, right? Um, and yeah, every hermit that comes into the city to take on this challenge of can you restore the the power? Um, you know, we'll make it so that there's a little bit of price to pay. Maybe they have to have to uh, get lucky and, and treasure hunt find these keys to even come in the city in the first place. Uh, and then there may be a timed, a timed deal to where they only have so much time to to find all the parts that they need to, to restore stuff. Uh, lots of stuff is going to go into this, and uh, it's going to be replayable because we're going to have so many things for them to do that uh, each time they come in, they will probably be going on different adventures. Is the idea? I'm super stoked for this. That's the first time I've told anyone outside of Hermitcraft this idea. 25 buildings, 25 hermits, one challenge for each hermit that visits. No, I'm thinking like when they come in, it'd be like we may have like 10 challenges available in the beginning, at least when it first opens, and they they get five of them. So then there's five that they've never seen. So that so it's a good reason to come back uh, again and see if you can get like the other five challenges to try is, is what I kind of think, and that's where my head was at. I'm excited for this, guys. I'm excited. This is going to give the Hermits some good content. It's going to great. It's going to be a great project for us to work on together. 
and pick each other's brains and already getting some good suggestions for some added lore. And I'll be open to all of that all season long. So these streams are going to be great because I'm not doing a lot of this in creative. Like, unless there's like some sort of technical thing I need to figure out, I want to do most of this together. We will work together to, to figure this out. I think that's going to be so fun. Okay, one more window. Whew, that, I was nervous. I was nervous. Maybe I, maybe I, you know, that was good. That was good practice for me because I do need to tell people on the YouTube video that same thing before they give up <laughs> and be like, oh, he's just building a city. What fun's that going to be? Oops, wrong layer. Oh, come back. Hi, train. Felt fitting. Trust my bones. Yeah. <laughs> Trust, trust the process. Trust. Uh, it's going to be so much fun. Holy smokes. We got a can. You dig it. The Shadier Twin. Thank you so much for the $10. Just popping in on my break at work to say the Infant Skiz podcast was so cool today. Skiz looked like he'd been hit by a truck when you told him the news. Have a great stream. I know, right? Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the podcast. Um, yeah, today, guys, Infant Skiz podcast Skiz, uh, gets to finally talk about how things went down, how he was invited to Hermitcraft and, and all that. And it was, it was, it was really good. It was really good. You guys check it out. You should check it out. Let's do this. Woo! Bombs! The bombs! Thank you. We got a five gift sub bomb from Biochemical Mayhem. Thank you for the gift sub bomb. Curtis, thanks for the 100 bits. Darwin, thanks for the 100 bits. Mycroft, thanks for the 100 bits. Thanks for kicking off hype stream, guys. So you guys are hyped about the idea then. That's good. Uh, I first told this idea. Well, I don't know how long I've had the idea. It's been a while, actually. Uh, but I first told the idea to Tango and Skiz on the road trip to TwitchCon. And they kind of validated that. Because, I, you know, when these things are in your head, you're not really sure if it's a bad idea or not. And so I told them, and they both, they both seemed pretty into it. So... Um, that was that was enough confirmation for me that this is the, the right way to go this season. And now you guys can see why I needed such a large plot, right? Why we needed such a large area. We gotta build we gotta build all these buildings and they gotta have space like this. If we're gonna have like the the like like I mentioned in the video, if we're gonna have the escape room in here, you know, I'm gonna need a decent amount of space. And probably Cleo's help because Cleo did an escape room uh last season. And I didn't ever get a chance to play it. Um, but so like this gives me an opportunity to bring in the hermits that kind of that have some experience with some of this stuff and collab a bit on the projects, which is even more exciting. So, yep, yeah, there you go. Whew. Glad to get that off my chest. I've been holding that in for a long time. <laughs> you guys glad you came? Got a chance to hear it firsthand? You'll hear it in the video again. I gotta figure out a I gotta figure out a good way to to describe all that that's not gonna put people to sleep. <laughs> it was a bit of a long story, and I could see people being like dozing off on it, you know. <laughs> not sticking around for the punchline. Uh yeah, I like that style. Let's do two for there. Two for. Oh. Loving it. Just use the clip, just clip that. <laughs> I guess. Oh, I am recording. Oh, it's recording my face, though. Yeah, then my face has to go in the video, and that feels weird to me. I don't know why. I guess... Oh, I could replay mod it. And then I'd be standing there staring at the camera. Or I could just use the voiceover for it. For it. <laughs> Ace to Chlor line. Oh, crushed your name. Did you really get a mending book immediately from fishing? Uh, not immediately. It took me 71 tries. Koreans on about 3,000, I think, last I, I heard, attempts at getting a menu book. I don't think he's too happy with me. <laughs> Green said it was 17 times. No, I think it was 71. I don't think I got the book in 17. I think it was 71. Wasn't it 71? You guys were there, weren't you? Somebody was streaming. Cub was streaming. Yeah, now Green's doing, he, he's just fishing all day, all every day. Phil Hall Bio, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Sounds fantastic, can't wait. Thanks, I'm so excited about it. 
I don't know if I've ever been this excited about an idea coming into a season before. It just feels so good to, to have something I know, I know we're going to work together. Green said 17, but MB, but maybe you said 70. No, 71 after the whole fishing trip. You fished a bit longer after you got the book. Oh! Oh my gosh. Did I get it in 17? Oh, and then maybe we all like checked our stats and that's where the 17 or the 71 came from. Maybe I did get it in 17. I don't know. Let's not talk about it. It's just going to make him more mad. <laughs> we don't need to get him more mad. <laughs> uh, oh, let's do this. I've been careful not to, st to stack blocks for some reason. Let me see how bad that looks. Whoop. Nah, that looks fine. The two, the two wool right there. Oh, I did it over there too. Anyway. Dang. 90% of fish are leave before their big break. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> I got lucky straight away, apparently. Holy smokes. You know what I haven't done? I haven't gone from this back to this. I'll do it just this one time. Just this one time. That's all we're going to do. Couldn't decide. <laughs> Decisions are hard. Is that too much white? No. Hey, 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 I like it. What do we think? B Dubs was so right with the texturing thing. The other thing that I could have done that would have given this even more character was different colored glass panes. You know what I mean? We could have done some colorization in the glass panes as well to even enhance this further. But I'm not removing glass panes. <laughs> you know, that was one of those that I got done with it. And I was like, ooh, we could have really, we could have taken it up a notch. Um, here's here's kind of the good news, guys, is because because we are winging this a little bit this season. Like I said, no light manica and stuff. Um, we're going to learn all these things that we just talked about. Like if I learn 25 tips throughout the course of the season, that means that the 25th building that we build all those tips are going to be incorporated and it's going to be it's going to be amazing, right? So, oh. Let me just do this. Just want to remove this nether rack. This is probably not the best way to do it. Um, which means the buildings are going to get better and better as the season go on. Yeah, removing paints is a pain exactly. So, I started at the back corner of the city kind of for that very reason. So that as people come in the city, it's not like the first building I built and and probably the worst building out of all of them i would assume because we're new it's just the way things go you know we're gonna learn over the course of the season how to get better at this so it being in the back corner or the you know there's a chance like nobody will ever even make it back here you know there there'll be there'll be a uh, challenge in here but unless they get that challenge there's no reason to come all the way to the back and so if it's your worst building then you know it's kind of hidden you know we hide the and it, if this is the worst building we do, then that's amazing. I because I, I do like this building. I'm not cracking on this building. I'm saying we're gonna we just got a lot to learn. Okay, that's done. All right. Another random netherrack. We clean it, we clean it, we clean it. Perfect. Hide my shame. No, it's like it's like when you're painting a house, right? When you're painting a house and you're not sure if you're gonna like the paint, you kind of do that first spot. Somewhere that nobody's gonna see. Oh, the I, I think I gotta take away the eating thing. It's way too quiet. Or no, my game sounds we're done. Okay. Um Yeah, you know when you paint that first spot in the in the spot people won't really see? That's kind of what this building is. This is like a hey, it's our first attempt at this. Let's let's shove it to the back corner. <laughs> you know? And B dubs is gonna build a building. I think. I don't know when. His is actually going to be 
up here, I think. The building that he's going to do. And it's going to be... It's it's going to be different. The building that he's building is, is going to look a lot different than this one. And that's okay. That's okay, because we have a way to, like, transition and have sections of this whole plot that are meant to look different. And I think that's going to give enough variety that it's going to make it... You know, otherwise we're going to just have... We're going to have this over and over again, just in different colors. And we don't want that, right? So, we'll give a chance for the, the server to restart. What time is it? Oh, I only got 25 more minutes. Thank you guys for that hype train. Appreciate you. Debar, thanks for the 100 bits. Ruben Cranks, thanks for the 100 bits. Nimix, thanks for the 100 bits. Wanted to say I love your videos and streams. Can't wait to see what you create this season. Thank you so much. Whew, I can't believe I told you guys the idea. I, I can't keep my mouth shut. I can't keep my mouth shut, I guess. <laughs> will there be roads? Yeah. Yeah, it will be a, a proper city. Uh, there's going to be... <laughs> I'm on TV. Oh, oh, that does work. Why does it say I've collected... Oh, emotes. Oh, yeah. Um, save that. See if we're back. And we're back. Okay, cool. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Keep the secret, guys. Keep the secret. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. I'm not going to do this one. I'm Like I said before, I'm kind of debating just making this wall plain. And that way that gives me a chance to do all the pipings and stuff that I want to do. Uh, let's go collect some materials so that we can start working on... The cyberpunkification. Right. That's that's the word. I can't cyberpunkificate until I switch my skins, which is going to happen in the video pretty quick, I think. Um, first part of the video is going to be showing that, hey, I realized I needed some supplies, and this is what we've done with the little mini farms. What? What? This one's like... Impenetrable. I guess I was a little low. Let's get as many as we can. I don't know what I'm going to do about f actual farms, though. Like, little personal use farms, I don't mind having right here. But we do need to be cognizant of what that could do as far as lag, since there's so many people so close together. And I don't really want to do another industrial district. I really don't. I want everything to be here, but also I got to make sure I don't lag the server or lag the area anyway. It's going to be tough. This is definitely going to be a tough challenge to figure out. It is axis for these, right? Yeah. Oh, watch out. When you hit these, those arrows go falling. Scary. We could die. Just use docks farms, share farms. Yeah, but I do like making farms too is a problem, right? I do like I do like making the farms. It's part of you know what I like doing in Minecraft. So if I make just a little personal ones, then maybe they won't be so bad lag wise. This one's obviously super manual. Did you hear that? Makes a little noise when it grows. Why do you shoot the top part? Um, because if you break, if you break the plant, you won't get that. Like that piece doesn't fall independently. So you have to shoot that off or harvest it manually. Um, and then break the plant. Otherwise, you'll just get chorus fruit back and then you won't be able to regrow them. So it's very important that you get, you know, in this case I planted five. I need to get at least five back. Otherwise, I'm gonna slowly dwindle what I have. Can make a, a district with farms. A district farm. Oh, in the Cyberpunk City. Yeah, I wonder if I did some farming, but it was more like in the middle of the city, right? We go we go way out here. If I if I did stuff here, how how much would that affect my neighbors? I don't think we're far enough away. Oops, I keep doing the wrong one. Um render distance is what matters, right? So I think we're at like 15 chunks. So if we put all, the, let's say all the farms were in the super chunk of farms right here, right? Remember super chunk of farms? Missed that, missed that season. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, Joel's gonna feel it. 
because we're already ha we're already over halfway there, and he's right here. Yep. So yeah, there's nowhere I can do farming around here that's not gonna affect my neighbors in some way. I just have to be very careful about. Is it simulation distance? I don't know what the server simulation distance is. I assumed it was probably about the same as the render distance, but I'm not sure. <laughs> so the stuff I've done pretty so far I, is not going to cause pro too many problems, I don't think. It's not like I got a crazy amount of sheep. I just got 12 total, 6 and 6. Um, cactus farm I don't really think causes problems. This one could. This one could, if, if especially if I scale this up. If simulation distance is only is low, then maybe I'm maybe I maybe I'm not too not too worried. Like if it was five chunks, even this wouldn't really affect too many people. I'll have to find out. Yeah, see that? That's gonna cause lag. <laughs> I may I I may switch this up a little bit. We're using tor torch burnout, and that's that's gonna fire the pistons way more than it needs to. So maybe I'll make this a little more elegant. But I did make look at what I did. Look at what I did. Haha. -ha. Look at crafter. And then we did the thing with the composter. So we sent it in full signal here. So this has to fill up all the way. And then it powers that block. And then there's dust under that. And then there's a repeater under that. And then the dust right there. And then and then it and then it makes these. Woohoo! The crafter is so cool. Free chests. Slow, it's slow, but it trickles in. You know, already got a hundred blocks that I didn't have before. Gotta love it. Oh, we need walls, huh? We need walls. <laughs> Slime ball. Hey, hey, remember, remember what it was before we came in? Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, we don't have trial chambers. You want the redstone design on that? Okay, fairly simple. Let me uncover it for you. Let me uncover it for you. For those of you that are, are going to be trying out the crafter, let's open this up so you can see it. Here's how I did it, real simple, right? So we got the composter. You can see it's full, right? You can see it's completely full, so full signal. You could use, you don't have to use a composter. You could use like a, uh, what's probably the, a furnace that you have completely full with stuff on both sides that don't smelt or something. Uh, what what could you use? Any 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 kind of storage container that you can fill up easily all the way. A lectern. You can switch to uh, page what fifteen or whatever, right? Put another crafter here. Fill it up. Yeah, lots of choices. I went with composter, just because it was easy and cheap. And then we go subtract mode on that, right? So now we're not gonna get a signal until this crafter is completely full. So this goes with the. This is good for the crafting stuff that's gonna take all nine spots and then once it is it's gonna power that redstone let's see it just went off I think just one's coming in at a time okay uh, it's gonna power that block and you can see because we have it on the uh, the plus sign that means that it's gonna it's gonna um, weekly power this stone block that the repeat or the comparators on and then because it's weekly powered we have to pull that back out with a repeater and then we power this block, and that's also got the cross, so it's going to power the crafter. So we just kind of loop that signal back. There may be more compact designs. This is something I just kind of threw together yesterday when I was goofing around. Because uh, when when we did the Iron Farm, Tango did all the crafter stuff, so I didn't get a chance to really play around with it. <laughs> Tango jumped in and, you know, did his thing. And his, his, his I think, ended up being about the same compact-wise anyway. Auto craft shulker boxes, yeah, could, you could you get your shulker farm, brings the shells in, get this farm, do that. We could, we could take this a step further. Let's say I wanted all chests, right? We could spit from that crafter into another crafter and have it fill up, lock this middle spot, so it fills up the eight, and then once it fills up the eight, you know, change the signal strength stuff so that it fires. And then it would fire a chest auto created into another from a you know, crafter to crafter to storage. Could be cool. I'm not sure I want all chests out of that, so I'm not gonna do that. But 
yeah, there's lots of stuff you can do with the crafter. You're gonna see you're gonna see a lot of hermits digging into the crafter. It's just it's one of the most incredible new things they've added to the game, especially for redstoners. You know, us re us redstoners, we haven't had a lot of love lately. So the crafter is a is a nice little a nice little surprise. Curtis, thanks for the hundred bits. Make the farm under Mumbo's base. That way you never get the blame for the lag. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Mumbo's gonna cause lag no matter what anyway, so we might as well. <laughs> Grithios, do a joint industrial district for the Cherry Blossom Mountain. Uh, you build them and and, don and others donate materials. Yeah, that might be a thing, right? That could be a thing. I know we're doing a lot of talking, not a lot of building today. Sorry, guys. Um, but, yeah, imagine... Imagine having a joint industrial kind of thing together, like under the mountain or something with 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 these people would be great right me and mumbo obviously the red stoners of the mountain and the uh everyone else can can help and and make it look good and stuff it'd be a nice fun community project i just worry that you know sometimes industrial districts get uh, a little laggy and we might not want that kind of lag at the place that we live but i also don't want to go anywhere <laughs> I don't want to leave this area. I get FOMO. I seriously get FOMO. Inside the mountain, there's already a uh, mob farm anyway. Wait, I mean, yeah, that's where I put this. Oh, you're talking about a natural mob farm. Yeah. Yeah. Because we haven't gone down and lit it up yet. Yeah, in here is absolutely terrifying. Look at it. Look at it. We got it. Oh, gosh. Skelly. Yep. We got to go through here and light up. Almost looked at an Enderman. Oh, there's a spider spawner right there. Ooh. Could be really easy to make stuff. But look at that. Yeah, look at how hollow it is. I mean, it just screams like, do something, please. Do something. Check this out, guys. I wanna let's 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 look at this vein real quick. People were people were telling Tango, right? I saw I was watching Tango stream the other day, and Tango's like, I need a lot of copper. He's been talking, right? I need a lot of copper. I found this. The thing that everyone was telling them about. Oh, you just got to find a copper vein. Yeah, that's nice not having to AFK because we're just going to be around here all the time. So I think I found this copper vein, right? But people were telling him that there's raw copper ore if you follow the vein. Let's follow the vein and see if they're right. Or at least see what we get. I've got fortune two, not fortune three. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> is it true there's gonna be raw copper blocks in here let's dig it out find out I mean one way or another at least it's a lot of copper we will use a lot of copper there will be copper in our build it's gonna we just got to make sure that we don't go too much with it that we we go start leaning on the uh, steampunk versus cyberpunk okay so far I'm kind of disappointed because that kind of ended there didn't it I guess it goes up there. Let's continue. It kind of just dies right here, it seems. Yeah. Okay. Now this place is going to look terrible. Let's dig this out. See how much of this there is. That's it. Um, and it looked like the vein... I mean, there's a lot here. So is this still part of the vein? Whoa, jeez. <laughs> Sir Forehand, thank you so much for the five gift sub bomb. Appreciate you. Oh, I never did move the text for the subs, did I? My bad. But look at how much copper we just got. This is insane. Follow the gravel. Just keep digging. Just keep digging. Just keep digging. Just keep digging. Really? Follow it to where? I think I read gravel, but you meant. You probably said granite. That was not a true vein. That was a teaser vein. Oh man. I lied to Tango then. I lied to Tango. We got a teaser vein. What a tease. Nobody likes a tease. <laughs> it was a dud. Oh. What about this? Look at how much copper is just in here. This is insane. Let's grab it, smelt it up. We need it. And then what I really need to do, we got 10 minutes left. What I really need to do is find a good spot for glow ink. 
This kind of continued through, but I dug it out, so. Jeez. Jeez, so much copper. So much copper. Did Tango say whether or not he's going to do a copper farm or not? Uh-oh. Scary. Is Tango going to do a copper farm? I'm assuming he will. He needs it. He needs a lot of copper. Uh, Joel's making a, a glowing farm? Oh, I'll have to ask him. Yeah, there's no reason for us both to do it. We could work together, actually. That'd be kind of cool. I'll hit him up today, guys. Thanks for letting me know. We both needs it. Whole lab projects like that are always fun. More vertical mining. No. No thanks. No vertical mining. I'm done. Look at how much copper we got from all this. I probably can't even carry it all. And that's one argument against needing a copper farm. Is you find a spot like that and look at that. Almost a full inventory <laughs> of copper. And we're not even done. It's not even not even done. Crazy. How is this not a copper vein? I've never seen this much copper strung together in my life. How is that not considered a copper vein? Just because of the lack of actual raw copper blocks, I guess. Dripstone cave. They just happen like that in dripstone caves. Okay. But it's not actually considered a, a vein. Oh, we got it. We got to do something. We're going to lose this. Our inventory got too full. It is nice that you can take all these and just go bloop and bloop. Look at how quickly we cleaned up our inventory with these blocks. Copper for days and days. Got to love that. Just lucky enough that we settled down and had all the dripstone. We, we uh, settled in the mountain because it looked amazing, right? The mountain is just such an amazing landmark that I'm going to put a giant city in front of. Some people weren't too happy with that. <laughs> uh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Trust me. The mountain will be terrific in the skyline backdrop of the city. It's going to look fantastic. Trust the process. Or don't. Or, or either trust the process or, 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 and then I, I let you down. Or trust the process, we crush it. Or trust the process, or, or don't trust the process and then just tell me, say I told you so at the end of the season. Either way, whatever you want to do. All right. I think there's a bit of water down here that's like perfect for. Yes. Okay. That's what I need to get to. That right there. Um, and that's along here. Okay, cool. So what I want to do, let's get a door. I'm going to open that up. Hopefully they don't go away. I'm the 76ers. What does that mean? Belt-fed Joe, thank you for the 333. Uh, maybe we'll carve out all that granite at some point in time and see if that continues on to, to an, an actual brain, a vein. I need a brain. It's not working. Streamer brain. Uh, bang, bang, bang. Look at that. You can't smelt, right? These don't smelt straight from blocks, do they? No. Okay. I mean, I suppose we should start smelting away. I got a new texture pack, by the way, guys. If I didn't mention that earlier. It also does this. So you can see that would be kind of cool what would it spit out then a, a full copper block right that'd be amazing so we'll waste a little bit of lava because lava cooks a hundred items and we're only throwing in a stack but that's all right because we have infinite lava so i don't really care too much it's all good Okay, let me throw these in here as well. 
clean up a little bit. A little bit. And then I want a door. Let's make ourselves a door. What kind of door should we make? A fancy mangrove one? That'll work. Not gonna be too picky. Too bad lava is a non-renewable resource. Oh wait, yeah. <laughs> this will be full by the time we come back from this little adventure that we only have seven minutes for. Oh, see, I could follow that and that'll probably continue down there. Copper, not a problem. Not a problem at all. Would a dispenser with empty buckets pick up the lava? I don't think so. That'd be pretty cool if you could. I don't think that's a thing though, as far as I know. Okay, so I walled this off for a reason. For reasons. Okay. Okay, don't worry, take your time. Was that block broken or not? <laughs> okay. Lag. Uh, is there, I need potions or something for this trip. I need you. I need you. I need looting is what I really need. Hang out for a minute. See, we're professional divers. <laughs> I only got one from that. When we looked in here earlier, there was more than one. That's sad. Ooh, I could use that. I might actually grab that real quick. Does this continue on? No, we got to get back. Wait. Don't worry. I'll be all right. Everything's going to be fine. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, it's so dark. It's so dark. Fortune. I can't see what I'm doing. I hope you guys can't. Wait, can't? <laughs> can. Did I get it all? I need... Oh, I need a thing where I can hold this torch. Also, I need, like, aqua affinity so I can see better. Isn't that it? Aqua Affinity will make it so you can see better underwater like this? You know, they, they, they really wanted us to be able to go on these underwater caving adventures, but then they made it so you can't see anything. Impossible to see. Okay. Night vision. Oh, conduit would be a great idea. Oh, conduit would be a great idea. Okay, what do we need for a conduit? Heart of the sea. That's a whole nother adventure. Let's explore the rest of this. Maybe we'll get lucky. I have my door. There's a door here, which we're about to use because we're running out of... Oh, gosh. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Hold on, hold on. Get in the door. <laughs> we got to drown down here. <gasps> there was diamonds. <laughs> Guys, I can't see anything. Where'd he go? Oh. You want to go get those diamonds? Free diamonds, why not? Alright, you die. We'll go back to the door. Where are the diamonds? Where do you guys see diamonds? Uh oh, don't let me die. Oh, there's another drown. Great. You guys, you guys trolling me on the diamonds? <laughs> Where do you see the diamonds? You sure it wasn't lichen? It's probably lichen, guys. Above. Okay, hold on, let's go. Is this an air pocket right here? It is. Hey, that's a way. 100% diamonds, where was it? Wall above our diamonds. Wall above. Back there? On wall near door. Hold on, let's get all our bubbles back. It's lichen. It's lichen. Isn't it? I feel like we're not... We're not low enough for diamonds. Are you sure you're, you're not talking about... Are you talking about this? Talking about this? The door broke. Ah... Uh... 
already lost that that bit. Okay. So that was over here. We were Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Good eye, good eye. Totally believed you guys the entire time as well. So that's cool. <laughs> Just a one. Just a one little sad little diamond wanting to be harvest. Wasn't it? That's all she wrote. One little sad diamond. <laughs> well, that was a lot of work for one diamond. <laughs> we got it, though. We got it. Well done. Yeah, I think I'll get a conduit down here, and then we can make something out of this. I think we could probably do maybe a glow squid farm here. I'm not sure. They're probably better off in, like, a river biome, too, I'm assuming, right? I'm assuming so. Anyway, we do need to wrap things up today, guys. I know we didn't get... I mean, we got one glow ink. And we're going to need a lot more than that. So I'm going to have to come up with a strategy. For how we're going to do that. Copper smelting. Okay. We finished the windows. Yep. Yep. Next episode is going to be... You know, I've already built three farms. <laughs> Uh, in this next episode. So, yeah. Next episode is going to be a bunch of mini little farms, you know? And uh, and then some cyberpunk work towards the end of the video, I think, is how I'm going to frame this one. It's going to be fun. But, man, I'm excited. I'm excited to start adding all the details and the texturing to this building. Hopefully you guys are, too. And hopefully, uh, hopefully you like the idea. Uh, you know, now that I've told you, I've spilled my guts about the uh, the plan for this season. Uh, it seemed like you guys are pretty hyped. I'm super hyped. Let me, let me hold my microphone as I say goodbye to you guys. It's been a great chat. It's been great. Thank you guys so much for coming to the stream today. It's been a lot of fun. I appreciate you, but we're going to be uh, finding somebody to raid here shortly. <laughs> uh, let's see who's streaming. I'm a little early on this one, so... You know what? Smajor was hanging out in the stream earlier today. Let's let's send you on over to, to uh, Scott. Mr. S. Major. Smajor's the amazing. He's amazing. My good buddy from the Last Life series. Uh, we'll send you on over to Scott. Thank you guys again for all your support today. Uh, thanks for hanging out. And I will see you tomorrow with the Zit stream. Same time as when we started today. Two and a half hours ago. And then uh, we're going two hours, I think. Uh, so, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. It'll be fun. Go give some love to Scott. And uh, have a good one, everybody.